No, I need it a lot today. Aw, you poor thing. It's not fair. How come you guys always get so many more words than I do? Um, how are we supposed to know that? I don't know. Hey, Ella, don't forget I got a lot of chores for you to do after school. Okay, Fiona. And you better not be late this time. Mom, look, she already used up all her words. What do you expect? She's a blabbermouth. Here, that's for you. Chelsea, you're not supposed to give words. Shh, you're gonna waste them. They're for your big audition for the school play today. Come on, you've been waiting for this. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Of course. Now go show them what you got. I can be who you want me to be. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. We don't need to hear any more. You got the part. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, you're exactly what we're looking for. There you are. Mom's been trying to call- How did you get more words? I- Oh, I'm so telling, Mom. Come here. I found her, Mom. Let go- Mom! What? What do you want? I found Ella, and she got more words. What are you talking about? She doesn't have any words. She got more, I swear. What are you smiling about? Get to your chores. Mom, you have to believe me. Someone gave her words. No, I know, honey. I heard her talking. That's why I'm gonna have you spy on her tomorrow at school. Oh, and this way she won't suspect anything. Exactly. Something's going on with her. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Yes, I haven't gotten this many words since... my dad passed away. I'm pleased to announce we have finally casted our prince for the play. Hi. I'm Adam. Save your words, Adam. We're going to be rehearsing the first part of the song right now. So go break in my heart. I couldn't if I tried. That was great. One moment. We need to fix the mics. Hey, did they cast the captain of the football team as the prince? Oh, you must have used up all your words in the play rehearsal. Here, I need the tea. Come on, what happened? Okay, so basically he was looking at me the whole time and like you... I won't go break in... Nice voice. Fiona, you weren't supposed to be home until- Until later? I got off early today. How do you have so many words, hon? I just got a lot of words today. Or did someone give you a lot of words? Like your friend Chelsea, so you could spill the tea to her about the play? How did you know that I- oh, I think that's enough talking from her today, don't you? <laughs> yes, Mom. I think it's time she learns the truth. Sit down and look up. Surprise! I've been controlling your words. I really thought she was going to catch on, but she never did. All of this time, you've been taking my words? How could you do that, you- Eh-eh, uh -uh. that's enough. You always got so many more words than I did, and it just wasn't fair. You outshined my daughter with your words, so I took that away. And now you're trying to outshine her by being the lead in a play? Well, that's not going to happen. So, if you ever want to talk again, you're going to do as we say. Hey, you. Aw, you're all out of words again. Here, take some. What's wrong? I can't be friends with you anymore, and if you give me words again, I'm going to report you. What? Ella, how could you say that? Wait! You ready, honey? Oh, I'm ready. Your stepsister's pretending to have your voice, so you better make it good. I won't go breaking your heart. Wow, you sound just like Ella. If anything happens to her, you will go up on stage for the play. Oh my gosh, okay. Thank you, sounds good. I'm so proud of you, honey. Thanks. What? I need to use the restroom. Hurry up, I want to go home. You have five minutes. There, go. Ella, there you are. I wanted to check on you. You didn't seem like yourself today. You, you need help? You don't have any words. Ella, what are you doing? Come here. Who do you think you're gonna get? I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son, because he's super cute. <gasps> Who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny son. Your soulmate is a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. Anyways, I have to go now. Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet you he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I, uh, think your father wants to speak with you. He does? Mm-hmm. He's in his office. Hey. Santa, your daughter is here. Ho, ho. There you are, Holly. Hey, Dad. Did you find out who your soulmate is? Uh... Nope. Holly, you know lying will get you on the naughty list. All right, just don't get mad. My soulmate is... Santa, all of our toy machines have been frozen solid. No worries, I'm on it. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. My name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow, pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No, have you? Nope, and I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. 
If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh, yeah. Things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. <laughs> there she is. I thought I heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. We wanted to tell you the toy machine is fixed. Oh, good. But we need to know... Who your soulmate is. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not feeling so well. I think I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Oh, no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get canceled. What am I gonna do? Holly. Jared? Do not move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. Well, that's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. The hole is closing up. All right, you should be good to cross now. Just give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you, I promise. Let me see your hand. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice and easy now. Whoa, hey, you all right? Yeah, thank you. You know, I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad, he thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah, it's because I'm not really all that great at using my powers. Well, you seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Well, thanks. Want to see something cool? Uh, okay. Whoa, it's... it's beautiful. You really are. I mean, it's beautiful, but you... you are too. Jared, what are you doing? Dad! Son, get over here right now. We were just talking, Jack. That's Mr. Frost to you. And I know flirting when I see it. Ow! Dad, let go! No son of mine is going to date a Kringle. Stop it. That isn't fair. Get out of here, kid, before I turn you into an ice sculpture. It's okay, Holly. Just go. You're never going to see her again. Mom, Dad, there you guys are. Why are you looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You are on the naughty list. Listen, I can explain. It's because... I haven't been very truthful about who my soulmate is. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. <gasps> what? No, it can't be. But wait, listen, he's actually really nice, and he needs my help. Ho, <laughs> ho, nice? Don't you remember what his father did to you last year? No, but Jared is different. Tunny, his family cannot be trusted, and you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. I have to help Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Hey, I can help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Well, I can actually use your help. Awesome, because I already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story. Plus, I totally ship you guys. Aw, thanks. Well, what's your plan? Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which is already done. But they never take afternoon naps. Uh, let's just say I gave them some special milk. Winky! It was the only way. Now, follow me. This is the house. Now, I'll distract Jack while you go look for Jared. Okay. Why is it so hot in here? Holly, is that you? Oh my gosh, are you okay? No, the heat. It makes me weak. Come on, we gotta get you outside. It's no use. I can't get up. Just go. No, I'm not leaving you here. Okay, Jared, I hope you've learned your... What do you think you're doing? Holly, run! And where do you think you're going? You can't escape from me. Jack, please. I told you to stay away from my son. Now you're gonna pay the price. Just a few more minutes and you'll be frozen forever. Hey, get away from her. Don't worry, I'm gonna stop him. Your powers are no match for mine. We'll see about that. <laughs> And you said I was no good at using my powers. You're too late, Jared. Holly! Oh, my poor baby. Jared, we can't thank you enough for saving her. And we're pleased to announce you both are off the naughty list. Really? Yes, and you have our blessing to be together. Thank you. I promise. I will always look after her. Are you getting kind of hot now? Yeah, a little. I think I can help with that. Babe, I got... Don't you dare use any more of those words, understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. 
You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be six ninety nine back on the card. Please help me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed? Now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because. After I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> my phone is dead, and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You. You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words. Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> so step away from the girl. Let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No. Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet. But obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Andrina. Okay, true or false, a mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I gonna grow a tail too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrina. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is... You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair's getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. Shh. Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrina. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later.
Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone and my hair is looking like this. Oh no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because we want something. What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. It worked, but how did you know? I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are going to stay extinct anymore. Girls, meet the newest member of our organization. This is number 98. It's time for you to receive your mark. My mark? Mm-hmm. Every girl here has one. Scanning complete category. Red. What does that mean? You are one of the special ones. Now hold out your wrist. This is how that is the mark of the assassin, my dear. Now go get ready for training. Some assassin you are can't even take a punch. Looks like you knocked her unconscious. Great job, 98. Hey, what you did back there with 23? I kind of went too hard on her, didn't I? Actually, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm 52, by the way. I'm 98. Good work. This is your final test. You are to eliminate the subject. Bring it out. Your mark doesn't allow for any weaknesses. What are you waiting for, 98? Take the shot. Aye. What is our motto? No attachments, no weaknesses. That's right. And you've worked very hard to get here. So don't blow it. I can't. <laughs> Idiot. Show me your mark. That's the assassin's mark. Not a coward. Now pick up your weapon. Prove to me you have what it takes. What are you... Hey. It's okay. I got you. Oh, you chose that dog over me! 98? What's going on? I'm escaping this place. Come with me. Is that a dog? Yeah, I'm saving it. Come on, we have to go now. I can't. I have the mark of a technophile. I'm not as agile as you. I can't make it out of here. 52, that's not true. We can make it if we... Attention all girls. 98 has gone rogue. She must be stopped by any means necessary. I think I know a way you can escape. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I got the back gate open, but you gotta run fast. Okay. It's 98. Get her! <laughs> hey, we made it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm really gonna miss... Oh. <sighs> Excuse me. Do you need some help? Yes. I sort of ran away from home. Oh, darling. Uh, do you need somewhere to stay? Okay, well, it's not safe here for you and your little pup. Why don't you come with me? Come on, honey. Let me help you up. So, darling, what happened to you? Um, I'd rather not talk about it. That's okay. Oh, uh, I see. Wait, what's that on your wrist? Oh, it's just, uh, something I drew on myself. Darling, I prepared a bed for you and your little pup. You better get some rest. Thank you so much. I'm happy to help. Morning. Your little pup was looking for you. Do you want me to call your parents? No, I, I don't have parents. Oh, are you a foster child? I was. That mark on your wrist, does that have anything to do with where you came from? Darling, I want you to know that you can trust me. But if I'm going to let you stay in my house, I need to know more about you. Okay. And the next thing I know, I wake up and I can't remember my name. Instead, they gave me a number. 98. Oh, darling, that's awful. Listen, you can stay here as long as you like. Thank you. It's my pleasure. No child should have to go through that. Now, let me get you cleaned up, all right? Because that sure is a pretty bad cut you got there. All right, I'm going to go get you two some food. I'll be back. Hey, girl, calm down. 98. 52. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I found you. I escaped. Hey, girl, relax. She's a friend. Listen, a nice lady let me stay here, and I'm pretty sure she'll let you stay here, too. Really? Where is she? Oh, she's at the store. Good. I mean, good for you, 98. I'm glad you found help. Wait, what was that? What? That sound. Do it now. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you on comms with the director? Uh, you weren't supposed to <clears throat> hear that. <clears throat> Stay back. <clears throat> Shut up. Go get help. No, hey, get back here. <sighs> Sorry, 98. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm bringing her now. Thank you. 
She's more skilled than I thought. We just need to make her more compliant. You must comply. No, no. You will comply. You must. Okay, I think that's enough time. Now, tell me your mission, 98. To eliminate the dog. And what else? And get rid of the woman who took me in. I'm glad you understand, because there's no room for air. So you're going to do exactly what I say. Girls, meet the newest member of our organization. This is number 98. It's time for you to receive your mark. My mark? Mm-hmm. Every girl here has one. Scanning complete category. Red. What does that mean? You are one of the special ones. Now hold out your wrist. This is how that is the mark of the assassin, my dear. Now go get ready for training. Some assassin you are can't even take a punch. Looks like you knocked her unconscious. Great job, 98. Hey, what you did back there with 23? I kind of went too hard on her, didn't I? Actually, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm 52, by the way. I'm 98. This is how Good work. This is your final test. You are to eliminate the subject. Bring it out. Your mark doesn't allow for any weaknesses. What are you waiting for, 98? Take the shot. Aye. What is our motto? No attachments, no weaknesses. That's right, and you've worked very hard to get here, so don't blow it. I can't. <laughs> Idiot! Show me your mark. That's the assassin's mark, not a coward. Now pick up your weapon. Prove to me you have what it takes. What are you- Hey, it's okay. I got you. Oh, you chose that dog over me! 98? W what's going on? I'm escaping this place. Come with me. Is that a dog? Yeah, I'm saving it. Come on, we have to go now. I can't. I have the mark of a technophile. I'm not as agile as you. I can't make it out of here. 52, that's not true. We can make it if we... Attention all girls. 98 has gone rogue. She must be stopped by any means necessary. I think I know a way you can escape. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I got the back gate open, but you gotta run fast. Okay. It's 98. Get her! Hey, we made it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm really gonna miss... <sighs> Excuse me, do you need some help? Yes, I sort of ran away from home. Oh, darling. Uh, do you need somewhere to stay? Okay, well, it's not safe here for you and your little pup. Why don't you come with me? Come on, honey. Let me help you up. So, darling, what happened to you? Um, I'd rather not talk about it. That's okay. Oh, uh, I see. Wait, what's that on your wrist? Oh, it's just, uh, something I drew on myself. Darling, I prepared a bed for you and your little pup. You better get some rest. Thank you so much. I'm happy to help. Morning. Your little pup was looking for you. Do you want me to call your parents? No, I, I don't have parents. Oh, are you a foster child? I was. That mark on your wrist, does that have anything to do with where you came from? Darling, I want you to know that you can trust me, but if I'm going to let you stay in my house, I need to know more about you. Okay. And the next thing I know, I wake up and I can't remember my name. Instead, they gave me a number. 98. Oh, darling, that's awful. Listen, you can stay here as long as you like. Thank you. It's my pleasure. No child should have to go through that. Now, let me get you cleaned up, all right? Because that sure is a pretty bad cut you got there. All right, I'm going to go get you two some food. I'll be back. Hey, girl, calm down. 98. 52. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I found you. I escaped. Hey, girl, relax. She's a friend. Listen, a nice lady let me stay here, and I'm pretty sure she'll let you stay here, too. Really? Where is she? Oh, she's at the store. Good. I mean, good for you, 98. I'm glad you found help. Wait, what was that? What? That sound. Do it now. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you on comms with the director? Uh, you weren't supposed to hear that. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> Shut up. Go get help. No, hey, get back here. <sighs> Sorry, 98. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm bringing her now. She's more skilled than I thought. We just need to make her more compliant. You must comply. No, no. You will comply. You must. Okay, I think that's enough time. Now, tell me your mission, 98. To eliminate the dog. And what else? 
and get rid of the woman who took me in. I'm glad you understand because there's no room for air. So you're going to do exactly what I say. Great work on your mission today. Thank you, sir. I'll see you shortly. Nice. Text message from John. He says, I miss you. Would you like to respond? Tell him I miss you too. Sent. Thinking about your boyfriend, huh? Yeah. How cute. You know Director Johnson doesn't approve. Look, I love Johnson, but sometimes he's just way too overprotective. I mean, it's not like he's my dad. The man did practically raise you. I know, but my relationship is my business. <clears throat> Agent 22, Director Johnson wants to see you. Somebody's in trouble. Shut up. Sir, you wanted to see me? Maya, I'm sorry, but we have reason to believe your boyfriend John has been involved in criminal activity and has been using you for intel. No, no, he wouldn't do that. And you promised me you wouldn't do a background check on him. I know, but since your relationship was getting more serious, I had to. I'm sorry. He's involved with the Mafia? Yes. They need you to bring him in. You think you can handle that? Consider it done. I knew he was too perfect. And here I was, planning for a marriage proposal. Meanwhile, he was probably planning my funeral. He's not getting away with this. Beta? Hey. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. Oh, did you? What's the occasion? Does there need to be an occasion? No. No, of course not. Where's the drink? I'll pour it. Oh no, baby. You just sit back and relax. I got this. At least let me cook us some dinner, sweetheart. No thanks, baby. I'm not hungry. To us. To us. This has a kind of a kick to it. Didn't notice. Uh-huh. So, how long you been a spy? Excuse me? Cut the crap, Maya. My boss found out about your little investigation on me. All right. You caught me. My boss wants me to bring you in. That's funny. Mine asked me to do the same thing. Well, I hate to break it to you, baby, but that's not happening. I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them, isn't it? What? I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them, isn't it? What? How did you switch the drinks? Well, that was easy. You looked down for a few seconds to check your phone. I'm guessing it was your boss texting you. I got closer to you, which naturally made you more defensive. And while I was busy trying to hide my phone screen, you switched the drinks. Look who's finally catching on. You sick son of a... Oh, easy now. Let go of me, you deceitful little... Shh. Just relax. It's over, Maya. I have her, sir. Bring her to me. Yes, sir. <clears throat> hey, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. What the hell are you doing? I accidentally hit her head taking her out of the car. You know you're not actually her boyfriend. Yes, sir. I was just... She was an assignment. I understand. Good. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Where am I? Like I'm gonna tell you that. What do you want from me? He just wants to talk. Shut up, John. I wasn't talking to you. Wow, John, you were right. She is feisty. So listen, I got questions, and if you don't give me answers, things are gonna get ugly. Do whatever you want. I'm not saying anything. Maya, don't do this. Nah, no, John, it's fine. This is gonna be fun. Say it! <sighs> John, hand me that knife. Okay, wait. I'll tell you. Alright, so then tell me who your target was the day you met John. Rick. Rick Lawson. You see, John, her team has been on to us since the beginning. Ricky didn't just disappear. You killed him, didn't you? He, he left me no choice. <clears throat> Liar. Let's give her a break. A break? She's now a threat to our entire organization. She's done. Wait a minute. This is not what we discussed. She killed Ricky. Sir, listen to me. No, you listen. You're doing this. You want me to... Should I tell the head leader you can't complete the job? That won't be necessary. Now, before I kill her, my- You're not gonna touch her ever again! You killed him. I'm gonna get you out of here.
Hey, you're awake. What happened? Where are we? It's okay. You're safe now. You passed out after I killed Frank. What am I wearing? Your other clothes had blood all over them. I thought you'd like this dress. Who are you, really? A double agent? <sighs> Not exactly. That's it. I'm calling my team. No! No phone calls! I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to yell. John, what is going on? I can't take any chances. It's complicated, Maya. Uh, my head... Let me look at you. Is it bad? I think you're going to need stitches. Yeah, I think you are too. <coughs> Pizza Town, can we help you? Yes, I'd like to place a very special order. Please state your information. This is Agent 22 Foster requesting immediate backup. Connecting you to the director. Maya, where the hell are you? Um, it looks like some sort of Airbnb. John's unconscious. Stay on the line. I'm tracking your location now. Okay, please hurry. You sure you're all right, Maya? Yeah, I'm fine. Sir, he's waking up. Guys, wait, please, listen to me. Stop resisting, John. You're under arrest. No, you don't understand. She's in danger. She'll be under our protection. You don't get it. I told them everything about her. Please, Maya, listen to me. Get him out of here. Let's go, Mr. Grayson. No, wait! Hello. Maya, John's escaped. He what? We believe... Sir, hello? John? It's a black hole. Capito, capito. Rodala. Yes, sir. We know you are here. Look at this way. I see her. <laughs> Pathetic. Sean? Are you okay? I'm fine. What are you doing here? I'm here to save you. Well, you're a little late for that. I already took out all your men. No, Maya. There's more. Hey, weirdo. Ugh. Rude. How many you have left? Only five to go? You do realize the last five are like the hardest to finish. Yeah. Well, not for me. Stop! <laughs> Hey, Lauren. Yeah? Uh, how? Sorry. It was for a task. Fine, I understand, but you owe me one now. Yeah, whatever. Get off of me! Gotta complete my task, bruh! <laughs> Watch out, I think he's gonna throw something! Warning. Cool adventuring red zone. <sighs> Please help me! Whoa, what happened to you? The tasks, they're, they're getting worse, everyone here. They're going nuts! Hey, remember when I said you owe me one? Please, put those down. Chill, I'm not gonna use this on you. Wait, what are you doing? Look, I had to. Just, here, take these scissors and come with me. I need to show you something. We can't just leave that girl like that. Yeah, we can. Now, do you see that guy over there? Yeah. He only has one task left. You have to take him out. What? No. You have to. No, I'm not- Hey, sorry to do this to you, but I only got one task left, and it's a really bad one. I knew you had it in you. Come on, we should go. I can't believe I just did that. Um, Lauren, why does my next task say for me to kill somebody, but it's already checked off? I don't think that guy made it. I don't feel so good. Hey, listen, you have to complete everything. What does it say for you to do next? We have to save the girl that you hurt. Look at me. If we're gonna go save her... You need this. You came back. Yeah, I'm gonna save you, okay? How? The school's on lockdown until someone wins the game. <sighs> Wait, I have an idea. The nurse's office, it has tons of medical supplies. I'm gonna go get some. All right, but like, be careful. I will. I grabbed a bunch of stuff, and luckily for you, I know how to do stitches. Okay, you should be feeling a lot better now. Yeah, thanks. I only have one more left. So do I. What are you doing? You're like not that smart. My last task was to betray someone. That's why you helped me. Wow, look who's catching on. Anyways, sorry about this. No! Wait, what do you say we make a deal? I'm listening. My last task is to make sure you don't win the game. So if you drop that weapon right now, I'll win and we can split the cash 50-50. Huh, I mean, I would like to end this craziness. So what do you say? I'll take the deal. Be careful, I don't trust her. Here's your last hundred. Thank you. But I decided I want all the money. Get a winning lottery ticket or give a winning lottery ticket. 
I mean, my parents, they're already millionaires, but a little extra cash never hurt. Excuse me, do you have any money? My parents abandoned me and... I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. Wait! He needs this. I pick this one. Hey, wait up! Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? What the heck? What is this? It looks like a lottery ticket. You should probably scratch it, you know, and see if you won anything. You think? Okay. No way. No freaking way! I won! Well, congrats. You should probably go cash that in. I just won a million dollars. <laughs> what was your name? Uh, my name's Jace. I'm Lindsay. It's really nice to meet you. Did you hear about the super attractive guy that transferred here? No. It doesn't matter. Rachel snatched him up anyways. Of course she did. She literally gets all the guys. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Jace? Huh? Are you his friend? Well, I thought he was my friend. I just met her. Hey, what's this? That's not funny. This is special to me. Let go! Relax. No, dude, let go! Aw, oh, poor baby. Whatever, she's no fun. Who wants to go shopping at Gucci with me? Me, me. I do. What happened to you? What can I say? Money changes people. Yeah. I need to talk to you. Um, sorry, Jace is busy. Back off, Rachel, this is important. Listen, the only reason that you're rich, Jace, is because of me. <laughs> I'm being serious. You saw something on the floor and told me to look. That's it. I was the one that got the ticket for you and put it for you on the floor. Girl, you need to stop lying, it's embarrassing. It says it above my head. Oh, you want to know what sucks? Only you can see that. You're in love with Jace at minute. I am not. Right, so all this is not you trying to get his attention? Girl, be for real. Yo, Jace. What's up? Looks like Lindsay was telling the truth. Check out this video. Dude, wait. What's, what's that on the floor over there? Huh? So she did throw the lottery ticket on the floor for me? Yeah. Damn it, I gotta go talk to her. Jace, it looks like she needs water. Maybe give her this? Yeah, okay. Hey, I saw the viral video. I'm really sorry. So what you're saying is it took video proof for you to believe me? Nice. Wait, I want to make it up to you. I literally owe you big time. I'll buy you anything. I don't know. Don't you want to go hang with Rachel and all her friends? Not really. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to go get some water. Hang on. It's funny you say that because I have some right here. Are you sure that this was just water? I mean, yeah, Rachel gave it to me. Rachel? What? Yeah, she just said you looked thirsty. Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? She is not. I've seen her drink lemonade. Rachel, she's obviously having a reaction. Girl, you don't have like an EpiPen or something? No, I, I didn't bring mine today. Well, that was dumb. I'm gonna go see if I can find a teacher. Rachel, hurry. It's getting really hard for me to breathe. Where the heck did Rachel go? She's supposed to be getting help. Jeez, I can barely breathe. Okay, we gotta get you help. There's a hospital down the street. Come on. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way. Hurry. Jace. Lindsay? Oh, thank God you're okay. The doctor said that I'm free to walk around for a little bit. Oh, good. Do you need me to call your parents or anything? No, I've already tried. My parents are both actors and they're on a plane right now to Spain to shoot a movie. Oh, well. Whoa. Sorry. It's okay. You should probably go back and sit down. Yeah, probably. Easy now. And I want you to know I'm covering all your medical bills. You didn't have to- It's the least that I can do, Lindsay. Really. Also, I brought this for you. I remember you said it was special to you. Thanks. I also got you a few things, too. Those enough? Because I could buy more. Yeah, I think- I think this is good, thank you. Hey, you made me a millionaire. I literally owe you everything. And I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. <sighs> Officer, wait, see? She's fine. I don't need to go to Juvie. Jace, help me out. Sorry, Rachel. Really hope you learn your lesson. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, no! On a plane, mother, may I for a chance to win 50 million? I always wanted a mother, and I can use the money to buy myself my own house one day. Hello. Hi. Are you really my mother now? Yes, I am your mother. You listen to me. Okay. Mother, may I have this cookie? No, you may not. But... Do not argue with me. It is past your bedtime. Mother, may you sing me a bedtime song? I'm tired, but I can't sleep. No. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mother's going to buy you a mockingbird. Thank you, Mother. You're the best mother I ever had. Hey, Mother, I was just thinking, may I know what happens if I don't listen to you? No, you may not. 
Well, Mother, may I go to school? Yes, you may. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Mother, may I go see a friend? Yes, you may. Hey, what's wrong? Remember the bully I had since elementary school? Yeah. She was eliminated from the game today. And I'm pretty sure that Mother wants me to win this game. You think Mother wants you to win the 50 million? Yes. Look, I get you were a foster kid and Mother is the closest thing you've had to a real mom. But she's AI. She doesn't have feelings. No, listen to me. I am telling you, I am pretty sure that I am her favorite. Okay, let's test this then. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? No, no. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? Yes, you may. What? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Mess around and find out. I have to shut down mother. I have to shut down mother. Mother, may I please have some water? No. You haven't let me drink water for three days. Mother, may I please give her some of my water? No. You may not. I can't take this anymore. Give me the water. Please, if you just hold on a little bit longer, I'm gonna... <sighs> save you. Mother, may I ask you a question? Yes. How many players are left in this game? There are three players left. Mother, may I go to sleep? Of course. But wait. I'm always watching. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good night. It's time for me to end this game once and for all. Stop. You didn't ask me permission to come here. I'm sorry, Mother. I can't let this game go on anymore. Don't. If you unplug that, I will have you eliminated. No, you won't. Because I know you care about me. If you were going to kill me, you would have done it already. I have to do this. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. I'm sorry. I have to shut you off. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. You can? Yes. She's closer than you think. Your real mother is... Shut her off! Mother powering down. Finally, the game's over. Jocelyn? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Surprise, I survived. I'm glad you're okay, but she was right about to tell me who my real mother was. I'm sorry, but she had to be shut down. Do you feel like this was a little too easy? Wouldn't you think there would be security? Yeah, that is odd. Forget about it. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real Mother. No. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real mother. No. I'm so sorry. I had to put you up for adoption so I could run this game. But now it's over. You hurt so many people. I never meant for this game to get so brutal. I started out by doing this as a science experiment. But it made me lose sight of the things that really matter. Even as mother, I was watching over you. I wanted you to win that 50 million. But don't worry. Because I'm going to make a new game. What? Yes, and I was thinking, instead of Mother May I, we could all play Red Light, Green Light. And since you're my daughter, you'll have to play. Mommy, remind me again why we have to wear these bracelets. Sweetheart, I told you, it's so the government can make sure that we don't use our superpowers. So I can't even use my superpowers just for a few minutes? No, superpowers have been banned. If you use them, they will take you away. Do you want that? No. Then you must never use your powers. Watch your sister, please. Okay, Mommy. They even gave her a bracelet, but we don't get our powers until we turn five. Peekaboo! How are you doing that? Powers detected. Sissy, stop! FBI, open up! Please, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you know the rules. No using powers. She's gonna have to come with us. No, not my baby. You let her go! 
You better stand down, kid, or you'll be coming with us too. No! Hey you, freeze. Give me your purse. You don't scare us. My dad here has super strength and is bulletproof. Oh really? Well, I wasn't talking to him, I was talking to you. How about I blow a hole right through your- Honey, you can't use your superpowers. He's right. But dad- It's not worth it. I already lost one daughter. I won't lose you. Yeah, you don't want the government to take you. Now give me the purse. Yes. Later, soups. <laughs> Girl, I think I found a way to disable our bracelets. You did? Yeah. Shh. Let me see your wrist. Are you sure about this? Yeah, totally. We can't keep living without using our superpowers. You know what, you're right. Do it. Okay, done. Think it worked? There's only one way to find out. I'm gonna use a power I haven't used in a while. Powers detected. Tricked ya. What? Give up my voice until I meet my soulmate, or give up my sight? Those are horrible options. Pick voice. But if I don't have my voice, then how- Shh. You'll be fine. Do you really want to be blind? Well, no. Then make your choice. The time is running out. Is her voice gone? Try and talk. No way. She can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, it's not polite to laugh. <laughs> Girls, don't forget we're throwing that ball tonight. Mother, please tell me she's not invited to the ball. Yeah, she'll ruin all the fun. Don't worry, girls. She's not invited. She'll be locked in her room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being alone tonight. Hello, gorgeous. I heard you need true love's kiss to be able to speak again. So what do you say we give it a try? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you get back to the party and leave the princess alone? Right. Uh, of course, your highness. You gotta watch out for those type of guys. It must be awful not being able to speak. Excuse me? What are you doing here? What's the matter? The princess is ill. Excuse us. How dare you? I don't ever want you getting your voice back. Mother, what if that prince was her soulmate? Well, he's going to have to die. Do we really have to kill the prince, Mother? Yes, Danette. We can't risk her getting her voice back. We'll have to make his death look like an accident. Everyone picked to lose an ability. That's right. Find out which one he picked. We'll find his weakness and use it against him. And as for you, Danette, grab her other arm. You're staying here. And I'll go talk to the prince. <laughs> Mother, I'm back, and I found out his weakness. He can't swim until he kisses his soulmate. Oh, this is perfect. We'll drown him. We'll put soap all over the floor, blame it on the maid, say he slipped and fell in the pool. Stop moving. Danette, you watch her while we go handle the prince. Mother, I really don't think... Watch her. I... I can't do this. I'm not gonna let them kill the prince. I'm setting you free. I thought I was here to speak to your daughter. Whoops, clumsy me. <laughs> Help! <laughs> uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry. I don't think he's gonna wake up. Uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry, I don't think he's gonna wake up. <gasps> I'm so happy you're okay. Hey, you just talked. My voice, it's... it's back. I think the CPR counted as a kiss. You. What? He's supposed to be dead. Stay away from him. <gasps> no! Mother, she must have kissed him. Well, you were right about one thing, stepmother. He was my soulmate. And now that I have my voice back, I intend to use it. Guards? You two are under arrest. What? What? Bye, mother. Bye, sister. Oh, why isn't she getting arrested? Because she decided to help me, unlike you. You know, sometimes having a change of heart can get you out of trouble. Maybe you'll learn that someday. Why, you little... Didn't realize my soulmate was going to be so badass. And now, looks like she's queen. Mommy, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, honey. Well, what's a sugar daddy? It's a candy. <laughs> well, then I wish for a sugar daddy. No! Oh, why did you do that? Look, guys, it's sugar daddy, girl. Shut up. I was six, okay? At least I won't have to worry about money. You did not just say that. I bet she's looking forward to it. Mom, are you sure there's no way for me to change my wish? Your wish is permanent, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling like this is all my fault. That's because it kind of is. What was that? Nothing! Love you, Mom. Here's your test back. Can I see you after class, please? 
Mr. Smith, if this is about my grade and my test, I... No, no, it's not about that. And, uh, please, call me Darren. Darren, I mean, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean, what are you doing? Well, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I actually really like you, Brina, as more than just a student. In fact, I really don't even need this job. I just teach here so I can see you. What? Yeah, I'm actually a multimillionaire, and I'm looking for someone like you to spoil. Um, I... Please, Brina, just think about it. All I would ask for is one favor in return. Mom, I think my wish just came. Honey, I don't feel good. Call an ambulance. What's going on with your doctor? Your mother needs a kidney transplant, but her insurance does not cover it. Well, how much does the surgery cost? 145000 out of pocket. Do it. I'll cover the expenses. Are you sure? Hey, Brina, did you change your mind? Yes, I'll do you a favor, but no one can know about this, okay? Of course, of course. Now, what did you want in return? $145,000. How much did your teacher give you? One hundred and forty-five k to cover the surgery. Brina, are you kidding me? I know it sounds bad, but he just wanted to take me out to dinner, and he said all he wants to do is pay for my meal and just talk. Are you insane? There's no way on earth I'm letting my baby girl go meet up with some creep. He's 40 years old and you're still a minor. I know, but they said your insurance isn't going to cover your surgery. I was trying to save you. Listen to me. I will take money out of my savings. Mom, you will go broke. I don't care. Now you go give that teacher his money back right now. No daughter of mine is going to have a sugar daddy. But, Mom... I said no. Hey, you're early. Actually, I'm not going out to dinner with you after all. What? Why? I told my mom and she... You told your mom? Yeah, so listen, here's your check back. No! This wasn't a part of our deal! Hey! You're coming with me! Wait here! I'll be right back! I have to get out of here. Wait. He's an idiot. He didn't even take my phone. Alright, I'm back. Here, I bought this for you. Put it on. Yeah, that's not happening. Please put it on, Brina. I'd like you to wear that. Oh, so now you want to be nice. You know what? Can I ask you something? Honestly, why are you so obsessed with me out of all the other students? Because you... You remind me of my wife when she was younger. She passed away right after we got married. Ever since then, I haven't really been the same. Whoa, now I almost feel bad for doing this to you. Doing what? It's all clear, guys. Police, let me see your hands. <laughs> I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I just don't get it, though. I wish for a sugar daddy, not for a creepy stalker teacher. Well, honey, look what came for you in the mail today. Wait, so it is a candy? <laughs> yep, and after I sue that teacher, we'll have plenty of money to pay for my surgery. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Darling, are you ready for scare school? Yeah, but I'm kind of sad Halloween break is over. Well, have you gotten your scary soulmate yet? I haven't yet, but I'm sure it'll say vampire. Any species will be fine, as long as it doesn't say... Monster Hunter. Don't worry, dear. I'm sure you will get a spectacular soulmate. Of course. Um, I better get to class. Class, for an icebreaker, why don't we all tell each other our scary soulmates? Batalina, we'll start with you. Well, my scary soulmate is... Red alert. Red alert. Monster Hunter has been detected on property. What? Everyone, be quiet. Get to the safe room. Badalina, hurry. We have to get to the safe room. Julia, I don't know what's wrong. There must be garlic around here somewhere. But they're about to close the doors. <laughs> Just go. Save yourself. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I see you fell right for my garlic trap. Finally, I've caught my first vampire. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. What the? Oh, hell no. I'm not dealing with this. Get away from me. Welcome back from school. Here, eat some zombie fingers. I'm not really hungry. Mom says my things are gonna come in before yours. That's really great, Luna. Listen, I have to tell you something, but you have to promise not to tell Mom and Dad. Is it about your soulmate? Yes, and I'm only telling you this because I can't stand keeping this secret anymore. <gasps> is your soulmate a werewolf? No, worse than that. Uh, is he a ghost or something? Worse. Wait, is your soulmate a human? Yeah. Is your soulmate a monster? Shush, shush! They're gonna hear you. Monster hunters want to experiment on us. I know, okay? I almost got captured by one today. Wait, what? Look, it's a long story, but... No way I'm answering that. Luna! Betalina, go see who's at the door. Of course. Hey, remember me? I got a surprise for you. <laughs> 
You caught a beautiful vampire, son. Thanks, it wasn't easy. So feisty, but no fangs, I see. Interesting. First, let's test your resistance to sunlight. No, please. Dad, wait. Son, watch her. I'll be right back. Hey, there's something I need to tell you. I'm actually half werewolf. My father doesn't know. What? He's been training me to be a monster hunter for years, but I just can't go through with this. I don't like seeing him hurt you. Son, we need a blood sample from her. Come on, we gotta get you out of here now. Son? Run, this way. All right, you should be safe now. Thanks. Us mythical creatures, we have this thing called a scary soulmate. I know. Since I'm half werewolf, I also got one. Oh. <laughs> what does yours say? Monster hunter? Huh. Mine says vampire. You don't think that you and I are... <laughs> Soulmates? There she is! Get back! Mom, Dad, please wait. He he saved my life. I'm sorry for taking her away. I was just trying to make my dad proud. Batalina. Humans are not to be trusted. But but he's not fully human. Watch, I'll prove it. <gasps> you are a werewolf? Part werewolf, yes sir. So, does this mean that you'll allow us to date? Date? You like him. Yeah, we kind of think that we're each other's soulmates. Yeah, I see. Oh, Dad! That was for kidnapping my daughter. Oh. But that is for returning her safely. Then You may kiss him now. Wait, what? You must kiss him, darling, to see if he's truly your scary soulmate. Like, right now? In front of you guys? Come on, would you just kiss him already? Luna, when did you get here? Eh, just a little while ago. Okay, well, can you guys, like, close your eyes, please? Of course. It's okay. We should find out. It's a match. <laughs> we are. Yes, I knew it. Guys, look! Son, how dare you betray me? Get away, Dad. She's my soulmate, and I'm not gonna let you hurt her. You're a creature like them? Yes, he is, and I suggest you run unless... You want to become our next meal. Uh, of course not. Please don't eat me. I I'm going. I'm leaving. He won't be bothering us again. Yeah, I think we all scared the crap out of him. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet, because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill. Chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm gonna buy you contacts, but first we gotta fix that unibrow. I'm gonna pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... 
different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we got to get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away have... from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let go! Get in my- This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play- Oh no, are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to- Yes, and the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know a way you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait, she needs this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. 
So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid? Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm going to get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you off to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her, but what better time to do that than her wedding day? Ugh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me? Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, what had happened to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now why don't you just fetch? No! <sighs> Thank goodness it's not broken. No. <sighs> she locked me in here? Oh no, it looks like they're already reading their vows. I have to take this lock. I saw this used in a movie once, so uh, let's hope it works. Does anyone have any objections to this marriage? I do. No. Anne, what? Ingrid told me you were sick. Yeah, well, that's not the only thing she's lied to you about. She's also not even pregnant. What? Darling, don't listen to her. She obviously doesn't want us to get married. Really? Then what do you call this little recording of yourself? If you do anything to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. Why would you talk to Anne like that? Darling, I can explain. I... Oops, looks like Ingrid's out of talking time. Good, because I don't want to be interrupted when I say this. Ingrid, you and I are over. Oh! I'm so sorry, Anne. I had no idea Ingrid did all those things to you. It's okay. No, this is my fault. I should have listened more to you. I promise you, from here on out, things will be different. Your Majesty, look, it's a girl. <sighs> Whoa. She only knows one word. Young lady, do you need help? No. Frederick, if she only knows one word, she obviously can't understand you. Of course she needs help. This island is abandoned. Now, now, dear, it's all right. We just want to help you. Now, why don't you give me a hand? <sighs> oh, my. Relax, dear. Here, would you like some food? Ah, yes, you smell that chicken, don't you? Good idea, Your Majesty. Here, if you want some chicken, you must come with us. I shall bring her to my wife. Since she can't have children, she could adopt this one. Come on, follow us. Uh... You'll get food in just a minute, my dear. Frederick, quickly. I've got her. Let's go. Oh, you poor thing. You must be scared out of your mind. Don't worry. I'm going to be your mom. Mom? 
Oh, look, she learned how to say a second word. Yes, I'm going to be your mom. And since I'm queen, you're going to be a princess. Mom. <laughs> yes, dear. Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. You can't be a princess mm -hmm. looking like that. How cute. She probably hasn't had a bath in forever. My dear, are you sure her parents weren't on that island? Well, it's a good thing she can't understand English, because there's something sad I have to tell you. What? On our way off the island, we found a ship that was completely shipwrecked, and the remains of what appeared to be her parents. Oh, how awful. How could she have survived on that island all by herself? I don't know, but maybe once she learns more words, she can tell us. She's all done, Your Majesty. Do you like her makeover? She looks wonderful. I'm going to call her Maria. Uh, don't eat that, please. She's going to have a lot to learn, Your Majesty. She needs to learn manners uh... and... Oh, the poor thing must be hungry again. Come with me. We shall feed you. Your Majesty, she's eating like an animal. She was raised on an island. Don't worry. In time, she will learn better. In time, she will learn better. Look, a bear. Bear like this in jungle with me, but he brown and he bring me food. Really, Maria? Why, that's incredible. You've learned lots of new words. Maybe now you can tell us what happened on that island. Oh, it's all right. You don't have to. You know you're safe here with me, Maria. I promise. May I see other princesses today? Why, yes, there's a ball today. Socialization is very important for your speech development. Hello, my name is Princess Maria. Oh, you're that adopted princess from, like, the jungle, right? Oh, I cannot understand a lot of words at once. Can you speak slower? Can you understand me now? <laughs> <laughs> jungle freak. <sighs> what is wrong what with a her? weirdo. Okay, Maria, let's try this word. It means appealing or pretty in an endearing way. Cute. Well done, Maria. You have learned another new word. You'll be able to speak so much more to your princess friends. Mom, Dad, I do not want to see the princesses anymore. They were mean. What? what? So me only want... No, no, say I. I only want to see a prince. Oh my. I don't want to meet a dead prince like Romeo. I want a live one. <laughs> what? what? Like in the book you read me, Romeo and Juliet. They dead. Oh, darling, don't worry, you can see a prince. And he will be alive, Maria. As long as he's not rude to you, of course. <laughs> Dad, was that a joke? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Maria, your father was just kidding. But I know just the prince you can meet. Good evening, you must be Princess Maria. Are you a real prince? Uh, yes, to my knowledge. <laughs> do you like bears? Bears? Uh, sure, yeah. I do too. That's nice, yeah, I respect. Good evening, you must be Princess Maria. Are you a real prince? Uh, yes, to my knowledge. <laughs> do you like bears? Bears? Uh, sure, yeah. I do too. That's nice. Yeah, I respect that. I heard you survived on an island all by yourself. I gotta say, I think that's pretty amazing. And look at you. You've learned so many words. You are very nice, and your face is cute. <laughs> oh, thanks. I think yours is pretty cute too. I must go now, but I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I couldn't help but notice you're talking to Prince Ken. Come here, girly. Let me see your hand. I think we got off on the wrong foot. I want to be your friend. Friend? Yes, friend. So come with me, because I have something I want to show you. See how Prince Ken is holding my hand in this picture? He doesn't look very happy. Um, of course he was happy. He loves holding my hand. Just give me that. Let me teach you some words. Not interested. I saw the way that you look at him, but he doesn't like you. He would never date a jungle freak. Maria? Shh. She just fell asleep. Did she tell you why she came home so sad? No, she wouldn't say. But dear, your god went back to the island and we found out some awful news. What? Well, Frederick went back and did some investigating and he believes her family was trying to start a circus. A circus on an island? Shh, yes, and Frederick believes that they had a bear with them on the boat, and her and the bear were the only ones that survived the shipwreck. That explains why she's so obsessed with bears. Yes, we think the bear was trained, and maybe it helped her survive. Princess, you have a visitor. Prince Ken. Whoops, no, it's me. Her and the bear were the only ones that survived the shipwreck. That explains why she's so obsessed with bears. Yes, we think the bear was trained, and maybe it helped her survive. Princess, you have a visitor. Prince Ken. Whoops, no, it's me. Where is Prince Ken? Oh, I don't know. I told him you didn't want to be around him, you little jungle freak. Stay away from my man. Ow, ow, 
Maria, what are you doing? I'm so sorry. This is so unlike her. I know. She just attacked me out of nowhere, but it's okay, Your Majesty. I know she's different. Thank you for understanding, dear. No, Mom. She... she go like this. Your Majesty, you have a meeting to attend to, and Prince Ken is here. Prince Ken? No, Maria, you will not be seeing Prince Ken. You are grounded for attacking Princess Rachel. You are to stay in your room until your father arrives home. I wish I knew how to speak more words. Maria, my dear, I'm back, and I've brought you a surprise. Bear! I went back to the island and found him. He's quite friendly. I know you've been struggling, and I thought seeing him might make you feel less alone. We can keep the bear here in the palace if you'd like. Good night, bear. Hey, psst, Maria, it's me. The guards let me up. I just had to come see you. Princess Rachel tried to tell me you didn't want to talk to me, but I didn't believe her. She's always trying to create some drama. Whoa, is that a bear? Oh, yes, that is Bear, my friend. Your, your friend? Yeah, he- Make a wish! How many years did it give you? Ten! She has to get married at seventeen? She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear, we'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's gonna be the picky type. <laughs> your seventeenth birthday is in one week, and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my days left will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No! My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, Princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were going to help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my days left turned back to red, and remember mother said- Your mother is gone. And I will not lose you two over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you- I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead, either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you- I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh. Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you all right? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. 
Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. Hey, it's okay. Everything's all right now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You use the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or you know, you could stay, if... if you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. Get adopted by a fireman or a billionaire? I think we should go with fireman because he's going to keep us safe. Yeah, I think so too. No nope, billionaire. Hi, girls. Hi. So, what are your names? I'm Margo. I'm Edith. And this is Agnes. Nice to meet you. Well, this is my home. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. This place is kind of creepy. It is. <sighs> There's nothing to watch. Did you hear that? I did. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, I think it's coming from over there. <sighs> there was definitely someone down there. I told you, Agnes, we should have picked the fireman. Excuse me, I need to speak with you. Me? Yes, you. I have a secret that you need to know. So, what's your secret? I have a secret lab and I know you girls saw it. No, we didn't. Don't lie to me. I have cameras everywhere. I saw you. Creepy much? Okay, maybe we did. Well, I can't have you telling anyone about the lab. Uh-huh. Sounds like I should be calling CPS. No, I need you girls to help me with my plan. And what plan is that exactly? Go get your sisters and follow me. Whoa, what is that? Is that a laser? No. Who are you? I'm the doctor you saw in the lab. Well, what is this thing? My greatest achievement, a shrink ray. And we need human subjects to test it on. The doctor and I created this together. Wait a minute, so you're telling us that the only reason you adopted us was so you could use us as your lab rats? Not cool, dude. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that. Actually, we weren't asking. Run! Wait, wait! We don't want to try out your machine. Yeah! It's okay, girls. You don't have to try it if you don't want to. We don't? No. But, sir, we only adopted them because- That's enough, doctor. We're not forcing them to do anything. Thanks for taking us to get food, sir. Girls, please, you don't have to call me sir. Can we call you dad? Agnes! I was just asking. You can call me whatever you like. I feel like Darren likes us. I like him too. But that doctor, she creeps me out. Yeah, same. Good night, girls. Good, Good night, night, dad. Dad? <laughs> Hello. I need you to come with me. It's time for you to try out the machine. Shh. Would you stop knocking on the glass? You're not getting out of there. Now watch this. I'm going to demonstrate the shrink ray. Isn't that amazing? Now, to test it on you. Margo! Let her go! No, guys, run! Come here, girls. Stop! Doctor, what is going on? Dad, help us! Oh, be quiet. He's not even your real dad. Hey! That's enough. Let's see how you like it. Close your eyes, girls. No! Well, do you know, it works. Gary, you can't do this! <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for saving us. Of course. And I destroyed the machine. What? what? But I thought you said it was your greatest achievement. Actually, no, girls. My greatest achievement was adopting you. Okay, what'd you get? <gasps> A mermaid. What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying. No, it really says that. Shh, that is enough of your nonsense. Hi, pretend mermaid. We know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Ow! You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not. It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach, and that was in your hands. So, oh, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby, holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They, they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. 
And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. <laughs> no, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? Hello, nice to meet you, Marlena. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes, mermaids, of course. But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. Her future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? <gasps> you were right. She is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh, just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form. It's okay. We got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Can you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Dad? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes, how did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. You see, one day I was out fishing, and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid, and after I saved her, we fell in love. She got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years, I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future, it changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh, so your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with researching things about you, but she never wanted you to know. That's right, I didn't. I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have water powers. Use them. What are you doing? Making sure you don't bother me ever again. <laughs> Merlina, that was amazing. Red alert. We have to go. Come on. All right, you got the necklace on. Now wish to be a mermaid. But Dad... I'm sorry, but that scientist told too many people about you. You're not safe here anymore. You belong under the sea with your real mom. That's the police. You gotta make the wish now. When you find your mom, tell her I love her. I will never forget you. I'll find a way to see you again. I love you. I wish to be a mermaid. <gasps> Mom? No, it can't be. Darling? It's you, my baby. I knew you'd find me. My lost daughter has returned. This has been waiting for you. You are now Princess Merlina. All hail your new mermaid princess. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did, but what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet, because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. 
Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head, so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill. Chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm gonna buy you contacts, but first we gotta fix that unibrow. I'm gonna pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes. I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. And well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but- I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I- You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I get shouldn't Get away have... from me. And to think I actually liked- Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Let go! Get in my- Make a wish! Hey, happy birthday! What's your soulmate's name so daddy can take care of him? Dad... I'm kidding, come on. His name hasn't even shown up yet. Okay, but when it shows up, you tell me who it is. Understand? No, please, I'm telling you, I, I don't know nothing. Oh. Maria, put your headphones on. Hey, Maria. Yeah? 
I finally did it, sweetheart. I got his location. And by his, do you mean the man that killed... Your mother. Yeah. Turns out he's got a secret son. You're kidding. Nah, he's a CEO of a company. Let me guess. You want me to use him to get to his father? Yep. I already got a plan. What's his name? Antonio. Antonio Stefano. What? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Just thought I saw a bug. Tell me what you need me to do. And pretend you got a big business deal for him. Okay, but what if he's not interested? Then you make him interested. For mom, I'll do whatever it takes. He's ready for you. Mr. Stefano, Miss Lane is here. Nice to meet you, Mr. Stefano. Please, call me Antonio. Take a seat. I hear you have a business proposal for me. Actually, I do. May I show it to you? Go right ahead. And that's how this deal will make us millions. That's amazing. Unfortunately, I'm not looking to make any deals right now. Then why did you have me explain it? I like the sound of your voice. Now, why don't you do me a favor, doll, and tell me why you're really here? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, Miss Lane, if that's even your real last name. What are you implying? Let's just say I have a lot of enemies. And you think that one of them sent me to what? Kill you? Maybe. Maybe not. But one thing's for sure. Your little business deal was bullshit. What makes you say that? Some of the math was off. By a lot. Look, I don't know who you think I... Sir Stefano, your father's on the phone? <sighs> Stay here. We are not done. Excuse me. Dad, did you get all that? Yeah, the son of a gun's smarter than I thought. Yeah, maybe double check your math next time. Look, you gotta get out of there. I can't, he... He's coming back. Now where were we? You were just about to let me go home. Not gonna happen, Miss Lane. Not until you tell me what's really going on here. Fine. First off, don't call me Miss Lane anymore. My name's Maria. And secondly, this conversation hasn't been private. Maria, what the hell are you doing? But now it is. Who was listening in? If you want to know that, I suggest you sit down and listen very carefully. So we're soulmates. And your father doesn't want us to be together? Yes, but I'm done listening to him. I... I want to be with you. Maria, what the hell was that about, huh? Relax, he's got a thing for me. And I put a tracker on him. I gotta say I'm impressed. We're finally gonna get justice for your mother. I see his car. He's here. Copy that. Hey, you came. Of course. <laughs> I'm ready to run away with you. Me too. I say we leave and never come back here again. Cheers. To new beginnings. So, whose car are we gonna take? <laughs> Let's, Let's take mine. mine. No thanks. Actually, I wasn't really asking, sweetheart. Neither was I, sweetheart. Let me guess, you found the tracker. Did you think I wouldn't? Obviously I did, which is why I came prepared. Want to know why I chose this restaurant for us to meet at? Why? Because my father knows all the waiters, including one that served you your drink. You little... Bring the van. He's not going anywhere. Let me handle this. No, Dad, I want to stay. Maria, he's gonna wake up any minute, and... Why do you keep looking at him like that? You didn't tell me your soulmate's name. Um, I... Sounds like someone's about to get grounded. Your father doesn't know, does he? Doesn't know what? Your daughter and I are soulmates. Are you kidding me? Dad, I can explain. Nah, Maria. He's dead. No, he's not responsible for what happened to Mom. His father is. What are you two talking about? Your dad killed my mom. That's why I came after you. My father wouldn't go that far. Guess you don't know him too well. He's right. Dominic? Dad? How did you find him? I always keep an eye on my son. Now tell me, Antonio, which one of them should I take out first? Last time I checked, you were outnumbered. Oh, but am I? Oh, no. Maria, you know what you have to do. You're next. Dad, what are you doing? I want them to stay away from me. I remember. Stop! She's my soulmate! What? Oh. Dad! Relax. I didn't shoot to kill. How's your father holding up? He's doing pretty good for someone who just got shot in the shoulder. How about yours? He's pissed, but he's alive. Maria, listen. I want you to know I had no idea about your mom, and I'm turning my father in. You are? Yes. Look, I'm sure your dad's no saint either, but what my father did, 
No little girl should have to witness that. Thank you, Antonio. That that means a lot to me. And it means a lot to me that you didn't kill him when you had the chance. Where are you going? Leaving. I figure you don't want to be with me. Antonio, wait. I do want to be with you. Do you want to be with me? More than anything. Then what do you say we put our parents' past behind us and start fresh? I'd like that. Anything I touch turns to money, or any doll I touch comes to life. I'm too little to have money, and I don't have any friends in foster care, so I pick this one. I pick this Barbie to come to life. Whoa. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. Are you gonna be my friend? Of course, I can be anything you want me to be. You can brush my hair and take me anywhere. Cool. You can also customize me using this remote. I want to give you brown eyes like me. Oh, Claire, who are you talking to? Uh-oh, who's that? That's another foster girl that lives here, and she's really mean to dolls. We have to hide you. Come on. Claire, who are you talking to? Nobody. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. What the? Barbie, I told you to hide. Sorry, Claire. I just love making new friends. Does this control her? Hey, give that back. Ugh, just let me see it. Stop! You're gonna break her! Ugh, you're so annoying. This is why no one wants to adopt you. I don't want your dumb remote anyways. You killed her! <laughs> Have fun with your dead Barbie. Barbie, please wake up. Hola! Soy Barbie. ¿Cómo estás? Uh-oh, I think she reset you onto Spanish mode. That is mi mejor amiga. Barbie, I can't understand you. What am I gonna do? Barbie, I can use my powers to bring Ken to life to help us. I hope you know how to bring Barbie off of Spanish mode. Hey, Barbie. Hola, Ken. Why is she speaking Spanish? That's why I brought you here, Ken. I don't know how to make her speak English. Can I see her remote? Sure. That should do it. Hey, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Want to go for a drive? Sure, Ken. Activate the Barbie car. We cannot tell anyone that you're dolls. What do we say if they ask us? Tell them that, that you're my parents. Okay. Shh, we have to be really quiet so we can sneak out of here. Thanks for buying me this stuff, Barbie. Claire, you deserve it. Hey, you. You never paid me back my money. Claire. Claire. How dare you? Who are you guys? We are her parents. She got adopted. That's right, and one of her mother's many jobs is being a police officer. So if you don't leave right now, we're going to have you arrested. No, no, sorry, forget about the money. Bye! Claire! Are you okay? My arm got a little cut. Press the top button on the remote. Okay. Dr. Barbie is here to help. You're so strong, Claire. You should be feeling much better now. Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well... I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Claire, we... I understand if you don't want to because I know I'm not that great. What? Why would you think that? Because I'm not as smart or as cute as the other kids. I think that's why nobody wants to adopt me. Oh, Claire. Don't think like that. You're so smart. And you're super cute. Do you really think so? Claire, you can do anything you put your mind to. And anyone who tells you otherwise doesn't know what they're talking about. We would be honored to be your parents because you're such a good girl. Right, Ken? That's right, Barbie. Really? Yeah. Being a dad sounds fun. Guys, I forgot I had this in my pocket. My puppy. Since we're a family now, do we want to have a pet? Absolutely. Aww. Aww. This is going to be so much fun. I'll start looking for Barbie houses for us to live in. I'm so happy for us. We're going to be a great family. Yeah, Barbie and Ken finally together at last. Ugh. Ow, my head. Barbie, Ken, what's wrong? Ugh, my head. Barbie, Ken, what's wrong? I... I don't know. All of a sudden, we just feel really strange. My powers, they're running out. Oh no. All of you are going to turn back into dolls. How much time do we have left? One minute. Please don't leave me. Claire, we'll never leave you. We might not be able to be your parents, but we'll always be your dolls. 
Yes, and you're going to get adopted. Do you promise? We promise. I'm going to miss you so much. We'll still be together. You can take us wherever you go. Barbie, our eyes. They're melting. You guys are crying. Oh, the time's up. You guys are going to... We love you. See you on the other side. If it isn't the little tattletale, where are your parents now, huh? They're right... They're at home. So you better not try anything or I'm going to tell on you. No, no, I was just wondering. <laughs> I was looking for you all day. I'm sorry, I was just... I didn't want to hear it. You're lucky someone wants to adopt you. What? I'm getting adopted? Yes, finally. You guys were right. What? Who was right? Nothing. Meet your new parents. Hi. Hey. Can I bring my dolls? Oh, honey, of course. We'll consider them a part of our family. I'm just Ken, and you were a else I'd be a ten. Mommy, what's that? It's like charades, honey. You just have to act out your word very quickly, and I have to guess. Okay, you ready? <laughs> oh, a, a dog. <sighs> Understand how to play? Yeah. I got a word now. What am I riding? Um, a bike? No, not a bike. You use your feet. A motorcycle? No, honey, please hurry or something bad is going to happen to Mommy. I don't know. I don't I know. I bought this for you for your birthday. Um, a scooter? Yes. Oh, I'm safe. I don't like this game. A camera? No, and the time's up. <gasps> no, I'm so sorry. I couldn't guess it in time. Sissy, I got a word. Rawr. Okay, um, a lion? No. <laughs> a tiger? A bear? No, no, not that. Come on, Susie, you only have ten seconds left. Rawr. A cheetah? A leopard? Just tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Yay, you got it right. I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Officer? Hello, ma'am. We're looking for a girl named Susie. We believe your daughter cheated. Tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, it's a panther. A panther! Susie, did you cheat? No, my sister guessed the right answer. Uh-huh. Well, the report could have been a glitch. Remember, cheating has consequences. We know. Have a nice day. What was that about? Look, Mom, let's just say that Susie is not good at this game. We need to sign her up for acting classes or something. Honey, don't tell me you actually cheated. I wasn't gonna let her die. Huh? Let who die? No one. Nothing, Susie. We're just talking, sweetheart. You are lucky you got off the hook this time. Mom? No, this is ridiculous. Mom, I have a word. Okay, go ahead. You're holding your breath. You're swimming. You're... you're a shark? No. Uh... The Water Olympics? No, Mom, come on. Let me guess, let me guess. Um, um, scuba diver. Yes. <sighs> that was a close one. Uh oh, I got a word. Come on, Susie, you got this. Ooh, I learned about this in school. Okay, honey, act it out. It looks like she's swimming. Um, a duck? No, not that. A swan? Nope. Grrr. Um, what is it? I don't know. Okay, Mom, I don't know. Just help her. Splash. We have to cheat again. No, don't. Mom. Susie, what is your word? My word is... Susie? She's alive. That was scary. I really thought we lost her. This doesn't make any sense. Every time someone gets a word wrong, an armed drone comes down and shoots them. I know, honey, but the drone missed. No, but the drones never miss. The creator of the game programmed them to have perfect accuracy. There's something you need to know. Your father is the creator of this game. What? It's the reason I divorced him. You mean to tell me that our father is the reason for this game existing? Yes. I'm going to act it out headquarters, and I'm getting Dad to shut down this game. No, it's too dangerous. He didn't kill Susie, which means he still cares about us. I have to try. Hey, you're not allowed to be in yet. My father is Darren White, the creator of this game, and I want to speak to him. Oh, really? You got some ID on you? Oh. Now let me see my father. I see your mom finally told you about me. You've got a lot of explaining to do. You got a word, didn't you? Don't worry, I'll guess it for you. Act it out. No. What? Me and everyone else are done playing this game. Sweetheart, you're gonna run out of time. End the game. Just act it out, I can't. No, if you really love me, you're gonna end it right now. I've put too much work into this game to stop it now. Then I guess you're only gonna have one daughter. No, honey. Oh my god, what have I done? Dad. Shut the game down. But sir, I said shut it down. <laughs> the game is offline. Good, I gotta get her to a hospital. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I can't believe this happened. I did it for all of us. So daddy's gone? Yeah, the doctor said once he found out she was okay, he took off. All that matters is that this horrible game is over. Yeah. Sissy needs to rest now. 
I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Thanks, Mom. Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him. But definitely not him. What? Next. But I. And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> you have offended all the princes. Wow. That was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry. I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must! I will not lose you like I lost your father! You must find a husband, do you understand? <laughs> oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun. Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. <gasps> Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you all right? My corset, it's... it's too tight. Corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on, I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. <laughs> I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who... Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I... Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent. We shall be married tomorrow, and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, your highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding! That man is a fraud! Nathaniel... Someone get this fool out of here! The only fool here is you! Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be! In fact, he's not a prince at all! It's true! You were just using her to become royalty! No! I am a man of honor! No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the Queen! Aubrey, I'm so sorry! You are almost out of time! Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey, will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Ready to see your soulmate letter? One, two... <gasps> 
What? Cover it up. Does the letter F stand for something that I don't know? Never mind about your letter. We'll just cover it so no one can see it. It's fine. But, Mom... Don't argue with me on this one. Here, wear this glove for the ball tonight. But if I wear this glove, how is my soulmate ever supposed to find me? He won't. But that's not fair. Why won't you just tell me what's wrong with this letter? Enough questions and complaining. I am the queen and what I say goes. Now, if I see you take that glove off one time tonight, you will regret it. Care to dance, princess? I don't really feel like dancing. Oh, come on, princess. It's a beautiful night. All you gotta do is take my hand. Ow! My glove's on fire. Whoa, uh, hang on. I got no, it. No, no, wait. That was weird. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, is that your soulmate letter? Because I think I... No, please don't look at that. But, princess, I... Aspen, where is your glove? Aspen, you're supposed to be wearing your glove. I... It was my fault. Did you burn her glove? It was an accident. You are to never see this boy again. Gods, take her to her room. Yes, your majesty. Here, I got you a new one. What is with all the secrets? What is wrong with this letter? And why couldn't I talk to that guy? Cover that mark. I don't want to look at it. There are some secrets that are meant to be kept. You obviously don't understand that. Oh, and you're grounded for not listening to me. Ugh. She's still treating me like I'm five years old. This whole thing about my letter is ridiculous. Did I do that? I think I did, but how do I make it stop? Do I have powers? I brought you food, princess. And I brought the soulmate handbook. Don't let the queen see you reading it. I won't. Thank you. F stands for fire, which is the power the male soulmate will possess. <laughs> My glove's on fire. Wait, so he has fire powers and I have ice? Aspen. You've been locked in your room for a while. I just wanted to check on you. Your hand is freezing. Really? I didn't even notice. Mm-hmm. Well, has anything strange happened to you today? No. But actually, Mom, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna... Yes, by all means, get your rest. Keep a close eye on her, please. Yes, Your Majesty. Mom? Princess. <gasps> Shh, hey, it's okay. You know me. I'm the guy from the ball. How did you get onto my balcony? This is gonna sound crazy, but I used my fire powers to fly up here, and I think you and I are... Soulmates. I know. I read the soulmate handbook, and this F apparently stands for fire, which are your powers, but the only problem is, I think I have ice powers. Whoa, you're kidding. Well, you know what they say, opposites, opposites attract. attract. I say we kiss and see what happens. Wait. We should kiss and see what happens. Uh, wait. What's wrong? I don't know, all of a sudden I just started to not feel good. I know why. Mom? Mm-hmm. How long have you been listening in? Long enough to know your powers have come in. You knew? Why didn't you ever tell me? Because your powers mean you and your soulmate can never be together. You're lying. I am telling the truth. If you kiss him, you will die. No, we're supposed to be together. See? Fire and ice don't mix. Get rid of him. Oh, no! <laughs> Wait! Let's go, princess. Stop fighting me. There. Those gloves will not be coming off. Princess? Go away. No, please wait. I want to help you. I know how to get those special gloves off. Let me see your hands. Aspen, I escaped. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. Your Highness, I'm not so sure that was a good idea. She's fine. Right, Aspen? Princess? No. Please, Aspen, don't do this to me. I think your powers were too strong for her. She still has a pulse. There has to be something I can do to save her. True love's kiss. It could awaken her. But you'd have to give up your powers. If it means saving her, I'll do it. If you drink this potion, your fire powers will be gone forever. Please work. Princess! Princess! I can't believe you sacrificed your powers for me. Aspen, you're more important to me than any of my powers could be. Aspen, I was wrong. I had no idea your soulmate was so selfless. Please forgive me. Okay, Mom, I forgive you, but you have to promise me no more secrets. Yes, I promise you. Hey, our soulmate letters are gone. I wonder what that means. A soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm going to go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. 
Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot. But... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh shit. Coffee mushrooms. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. Okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Mate. Oh, no, he didn't. Mate. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. Oh, he is so dead. Honey. Mom. Oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate... Shh, enough chit-chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom... Uh-uh. Get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna- May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but- There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to- Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and- Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom- There you are. You're late. Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful, so I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. <laughs> Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay, here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? At least, that's a little bit more normal. Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula, and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zack Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... Oh! You don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner!
I just won 500k. You know, joke is on you guys because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. Layla, where are you? You're supposed to be my backup. Layla! She just put in the chat that she's out of speaking time. And we just lost. Your mother requests to see you. Guys, I gotta head off. See you later, rich girl. Must be nice to have a butler. Shut up. Tell her I'll be right there. Bye. Darling, meet my new boyfriend. What's up? Mom, can I speak to you alone for a minute? Okay, I'll be right back, babe. Mom, he is like 25. You realize that you're 40 now, right? So? Age is just a number and he makes me happy. Don't you want me to be happy? Yeah, man, she's hot and loaded. Nah, she doesn't even know about my secret. Dude, her daughter's kind of hot, too. I'm just in this for the money, though. Shit, you scared me. Wait, how long have you been standing out here? Hey, hold on. Mom, your boyfriend is a... Aw, you're out of speaking time, honey. I thought you had an hour left. Guess there was a glitch. Honey, enough charades. I don't understand. Well, that was weird. <gasps> Young lady, what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry, babe. Go to your room. You seem stressed. Here, take your squishy. You know, you could use your phone to communicate. She's not picking up? They did leave saying they wanted alone time. <sighs> yes! Oh, he is so busted. Mom, there's something I need to I have to take a phone call, excuse me. Don't worry, I'll keep her company. You stay out of my way. This is your final warning. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Her boyfriend's controlling your speaking time? Yeah, I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. <clears throat> the boyfriend has left. Time for me to expose him. Hi, Mom. I see your boyfriend isn't around. He went to go get me coffee. Isn't that sweet? No, actually not sweet, because he has a big secret. And one of them is that he's been stealing my speaking time. Hey, I'm back. No, watch, Mom. My speaking time is just going to magically disappear now. What? Seems fine to me, honey. Okay, fine. If I saw my voice, then I'm going to use it. I heard you saying that you had a secret. A secret? Oh, boy. I wanted this to be a surprise, but oh, well. Evelyn, will you make me the happiest man alive and marry me? Babe, yes! <laughs> I cannot let her marry him. Hey, what is this? This is how he's been controlling my speaking time. Give me that! I warned you! Come here! Plan to expose me didn't work. Your mom and I are gonna get married today in Las Vegas. Babe, where are you? Coming, sweetheart. Sadie, there you are. I had a feeling you might be in need of some help. There we go. Are you quite all right, Miss Sadie? Here you are. I took this off of Mr. Blake. Shall I get us a cab for Las Vegas? Oh, yeah. I now pronounce you husband. Stop the wedding. Your fiancé, Blake, is a psychotic little gold digger. Babe, I thought she was sick. No, Mom. He locked me in my makeup room. What? She's lying. I saw her myself, and he's also been stealing her speaking time. I have not. How could he do that? With this. Hey! You give that back, you little... I think you've said enough. You jerk! That's for messing with my daughter. Ugh. And that's for taking my speaking time. Hmm. A language to speak until you meet your soulmate? English or Spanish? I mean, everyone I know speaks English, so... Surprise attack! Que te pasa? <laughs> Why are you speaking Spanish? Esto es su culpa. Oh, you must have been picking what language to speak today. Mama, tenemos un problema. Honey, did you pick to speak Spanish until you kiss your soulmate? How did this happen? Well... Ella. It was an accident. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, it's okay, baby. Seriamente? Oh, stop. You'll be fine. Go to school. Don't worry, bestie. I speak Spanish. I can translate for you. Sé sí, que... Gracias. Hey, girly, I gotta do something. I'll be right back. Just wait here. 
Eh, por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Sorry, girl, I don't speak Spanish. Por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Are you speaking Spanish, girly? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Hey, I couldn't help but hear you said your head was hurting. Sí, ¿puedes entenderme? Sí, hablo español. I can understand you. Follow me. You said you need your medication. Where's your backpack? I... Okay. ¿Te sientes mejor? Did the medication help? Sí, gracias. So, you can't speak English at all right now? And you won't be able to until you kiss your soulmate? You never know, maybe you and I are soulmates. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe we should try to... Well, that was nice. Sorry if I'm being awkward. No, it's okay. No way, you just spoke English. You and I must be... Soulmates. soulmates. Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him. But definitely not him. What? Next. But I. And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> you have offended all the princes. Wow. That was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry. I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must. I will not lose you like I lost your father. You must find a husband. Do you understand? <sighs> oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun. Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. <gasps> Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you all right? My corset, it's... it's too tight. Corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on. I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. <laughs> I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who- Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I- Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent. We shall be married tomorrow and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, your highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding! That man is a fraud! Nathaniel... Someone get this fool out of here! The only fool here is you! Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be! In fact, 
He's not a prince at all. It's true. You were just using her to become royalty. No! I am a man of honor. No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the queen. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey, will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. <gasps> 10,000? But Mommy and Daddy always give me 15,000. They must be trying to put me on a budget or something. My parents only gave me $5 today. Yikes, sucks for you. Please, can you buy me my lunch? No, I don't think I will. Oh, please, I'm so hungry. Sorry, I can't help you. You know what? You're gonna regret this. Okay, your total's 8,000. Oh, I don't quite have enough. <laughs> Do you want me to just put it on hold for you? No, I really wanted to get this bag today. Um, my parents are gonna reload my balance tomorrow. Is it okay if I just pay for it then? Yeah, sure, we can do that for you, babe. Thank you. Five dollars? No, this this has to be an error or something. If you don't have the money, you have to return the bag. Well, about that, I kind of, sort of, already gave it away as a birthday present. Okay, then you're getting arrested. Security? Wait, what? Officer, there's been a mistake. I have a lot of money. Yeah, sure. Just sign right here, okay? I am not signing anything until I speak to my lawyer. Oh, really? Yes, and I know that I get one phone call. What, you gonna call mommy and daddy to come save you? Maybe. You're something else, kid. Come on, follow me. <sighs> Hello? Mommy, it's me. Make it quick, darling. I'm at a photo shoot. Mommy, I've been arrested. What? Yes, why did you and daddy only give me five dollars today? Five dollars? No, daddy and I sent you 15k. What? Then I don't know what happened, but can you guys come get me? I'm in France right now, darling. Okay, then what about Daddy? Daddy is shooting a movie in Dubai. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Joanna, we need you. Darling, I'll call you back. Hello? Hey, you got a visitor. Mommy and Daddy finally came to get me. Hi, remember me? I told you you'd regret not buying me that lunch. You switched our bank accounts, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I learned how to hack the system. It's something I've been working on for a very long time. All of this because I wouldn't buy you a stupid lunch? Not just that. You're a spoiled little brat who needed to be taught a lesson. You don't know me. Oh, but I do. I did my research on you. Your mommy is a model and your daddy is a movie star. But they both love their careers more than you. That isn't true. Oh, really? Then why aren't they here? Give me back my money. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, thanks? <laughs> Just kidding. <gasps> hey, you little- Watch it. If you want to get out of here, you're going to do exactly as I say. Now that you're out, for every task you do for me, I'll give you back five dollars. But that'll take forever. Exactly. Go clean my bathroom. Yeah, no way. All right, then. I guess I'm never switching our bank accounts back. Okay, fine. That's what I thought. Now get to scrubbing. Okay, I'm all done. Good. Here you go. It's kind of hot in here, so fan me with this. Who do you think you are? Royalty or something? <laughs> Might as well be. Now do it. Can I stop now? Hey, what was that about? No complaining or you lose money. Alright, you know what? That's it. Ugh. No, stop! <laughs> Darling, I'm so proud of you for getting your money back. Yeah, but I realize I should be a little bit more generous with my money, since you guys do give me so much. Darling, your daddy's movie got cancelled, so we're gonna have to cut back. Oh, well then, um, how much am I gonna get now? Well, you see... Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. Aw, I win. Since you won, I, I picked these flowers for you. Prince Daniel, do you see that above your head too? Uh-huh. You have to get people to kiss you. Oh. How about I kiss you? But if we're soulmates, your score will... It will go up high. Okay. Yes. <gasps> Stop! You're forbidden to see Prince Daniel again. No. Go to your room. Stepmother, please let me go help the village people. I won't talk to any boys, and I promise I'll only be gone for a few hours. No. What if some stranger tries to kiss you and your score goes up? Why don't you want my kiss score to go up? Yours is already at 50. They say if you kiss your soulmate, your score goes up really high. Is that why yours is so high?
No, soulmates are a lie. I just have a way with men. But you're staying in your room. I told the village people that I was going to help them out today, and I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you, princess. We appreciate your help. Oh, it was my pleasure, really. Look, her score is going up. Hey, Princess Sydney? It's me, Prince I, Daniel. I have to go. Wait, I haven't seen you in forever. I'm forbidden to talk to you, remember? Oh, come on. You know you still owe me- Princess, there you are. How did your score go up? Who kissed you? It was two women from the village. They were both so grateful for my help that they each kissed one of my hands. We also caught her talking to Prince Daniel. I'm so sorry. He started talking to me and... Silence. You were forbidden to see him. We'll discuss your punishment later. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes, and don't come back until the job is done. So you're allowing me to go out in the village today? Are you sure you're not still mad? All is forgiven. Thank you. My best god will be with you for protection. Come along, princess. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, don't cry. I picked this flower earlier. Would you like to have it? Yes, please. You don't know how much that means to her. Allow me to repay you for your kindness. Oh, you really don't. <sighs> Everyone, let's all kiss the princess's hand so we can raise her score. Yeah! Good job, everyone. She's almost about to beat the evil queen's score. Today was an eventful day, huh? I just hope that stepmother doesn't mind that my kiss score is almost as high as hers. After tonight, I don't think she'll mind. Let's get you back home. We're almost there. No, stop. You keep saying that, and I don't remember the weight of the castle being this way. <sighs> well, princess, that's because it's not. No. I'm sorry, princess. Why are you doing this? The Queen believes you are a threat to her kiss score. She ordered me to get rid of you. I don't want to kill you, but if I don't, she'll kill me. Close your eyes. Oh. Stay back. Daniel. Run. Run and don't come back. Hello? Is anyone home? Hello? Please help me. The Queen, she was trying to kill- Whoa, whoa, sweetheart. It's all right. Come on, let's get you inside. Thank you for letting me stay here. Your dog is so sweet. Of course, it's our pleasure, dear. Good night, sweetheart. Come here. Princess, I'm taking the dog out for a walk. Don't answer the door to anyone. Okay. I know this song. That's the song that Mother used to sing to me. Mom? Oh, Sydney. Yes, it's me. No, that's impossible. You died when I was four. The ones we love are never gone. I've come to give you a kiss. You only need one more kiss to beat the Evil Queen's score. How do you know that? Because, my daughter, I'm magic. That's how I came back to life. Now let me give you a kiss. I... I don't know if I believe you. How about I give you a little demonstration? You see, dear? Magic. It's really me, your mom. I've missed you so much. Once I give you this magical kiss, we'll be together forever. <laughs> mom, I don't feel very good. Well, that's because... You've been tricked. <laughs> Stepmother? Hello, Sydney. I've just given you the kiss of death. You'll be dead in a few minutes. <laughs> oh, princess, I found a prince who was looking for... You. No, Sydney. The queen must have done this to her. Daniel, I... I love... No, hey, stay with me. Sydney. Sydney! Oh, please. Please, no. Sydney, wake up. I'm so sorry, dear. This wasn't supposed to happen. Remember, you... You still owe me that kiss. Wait, true love's kiss? She's waking up. Look at her score. Wow. You two must be soulmates. I knew it. The evil queen has gone too far this time. You have to take back your kingdom. You're right. She's finally... Not so fast. What? Surprise. You're probably wishing you would have tried to kill me too now. Why, you, Sydney, get away from him. You don't make the rules anymore, stepmother. I do. And you're hereby dethroned. <laughs> you wouldn't dare hurt me with that sword. Try me and see what happens. <gasps> Guards? No, you fools. Get off of me. Finally, we have a good queen. Okay, pick a babysitter. A navy seal or a ninja? What kind of options are those? I need someone who can protect you while I'm away. From what? An army? You know, ever since dad died, you've been acting really weird. Sissy, pick the seal. You do realize it's not the animal seal? You know what? Never mind. Thanks for coming. These are my kids Sarah, Sadie, and the baby Susie. Nice to meet you. Miss Lane, I can assure you, your kids are in great hands. I want dinner. Shut up. She's asleep. I don't care. I'm hungry. Don't make me push you into the wall. 
Hey, don't talk to your sister like that, and you kid need to learn some manners. Her learn manners, please. You also do realize you're not the first babysitter we had. Is that so? Yeah, you're like the fifth one. All the other ones quit. Uh-huh, they don't like us. Said we're not disciplined enough. Well, I can assure you I'm not going to quit. It's my duty to protect you. <laughs> well, speaking of duty, <laughs> I'll let you handle that. Uh, wait! Just, um, FYI, you're putting on her diaper backwards. It's supposed to go this. Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. <laughs> Shh, it's gonna be okay. Sarah! Are you okay? No, there was a scary guy outside my window. What? Your security has been compromised. What is going on? <sighs> Listen, there's a reason your mother hired me to watch over you guys. I'll explain. So let me get this straight. Our dad was a spy, and now the bad guys that were after him are after us? Yes. They're after a stolen laptop your dad had retrieved before he died. Somebody tried to break in today, but I'm going to protect you guys, I promise. You guys need to wear these. What does this do? It's a tracking bracelet. Will this help keep us safe? Yes, it's so I can keep track of you. Is this yours? I found it in Dad's office. Sadie, you know you're not supposed to be down there, and this isn't mine. Wait a minute, didn't Neff the babysitter say that the bad guys were after a stolen laptop? Do you hear that sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Do you hear that beeping sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Don't be scared. Just give me the laptop. No. Maybe this will change your mind. Mm -hmm. Susie! You let her go! <laughs> let go of her! Sadie! Come here! <laughs> Give me the laptop now! Okay, okay, just take it! Finally! You have what you want, now let them go! I don't think so. Take them to the other room! No! Sadie, are you okay? Yeah. Don't worry, the babysitter, he's gonna save us. Do you mean this babysitter? Neff! <sighs> No one can save you now. Sadie, I think I can get free, but I need you to make the baby cry. Okay. <laughs> Why is she crying? She hates that sound. Hey, you. Is that a charger? <laughs> what are you going to do with that, huh? Well, let's try this. Oh, my eye. I'm scared. It's going to be all right. Let's get you free. Neff, come on, wake up. <gasps> what, what happened? The bad guys, they got the laptop and... What is going on? Girls, stay back. You think you can fight? You're not gonna bother them ever again. Go now, go now. Kick his ass. Where did you learn how to say that? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for protecting my girls. Of course, Miss Lane. Those men shouldn't be bothering them anymore. Wait, Neff, you're not leaving us now, are you? Can you please just stay a little bit longer? Girls. Please. As long as it's okay with your mother. I guess it would be nice to have a man around the house. All right, it's fine with me. Yay. My soulmate controls my hairstyle for the day, or my emotions? I might regret this, but I think I'm gonna go with emotions because I really don't want him to mess up my hair. Good morning, Mother. Sweetie, I accidentally shrunk your favorite dress in the wash. You can let the dog wear it now. But, but you love that dress. You're sure you're not mad? No worries. I'm off to school. Hey, so... I kind of have this, uh, this crush on you. Okay, your face is kind of scaring me a little. Good, because I don't even know why you're talking to me in the first place. You're right, I, I knew this was a bad idea. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go. We have to evacuate. There's a fire. Oh, you just need to relax. Everything's gonna be fine. Mr. Smith, this one student refuses to run. Hey, why aren't you running? I can't really run right now. I'm much too calm for that. Are you insane? Listen, this building is gonna... <laughs> It's gonna come down on us. Come on, I'm taking you out of here. Look, she's alive! Mr. Smith saved her! <sighs> what is wrong with you? I'm sorry, but my soulmate gave me the emotion of calmness. What? Girl, your soulmate almost got you killed. Guys, can I talk to her alone for a sec? Your soulmate almost got you killed. Guys, can I talk to her alone for a sec? Hey, girly. So, what did Mr. Smith want to talk to you about yesterday? He just said that he couldn't help but feel like me almost dying in the school fire was his fault. 
And then he just took off. Well, that's kind of weird. You know what else is weird? I found out Mr. Smith is only 20 years old. Apparently, he graduated early. That's cool. Yeah, and you've been stuck on happy ever since you talked to him. Her hamster passed away this morning, and it hasn't even phased her. She deserves to mourn for her hamster. Now come to think of it, what if he was just hibernating and I buried him alive? I killed Chubsters. Oh, hey, don't cry. What just happened? Her soulmate must have heard us talking and changed her emotion. You know who I saw walking by when we were talking? Mr. Smith. No, you don't think that he's her... Soulmate? Yeah. You know what? Come with me. We're gonna go talk to him. Mr. Smith? Sylvia, I don't know if you should do this. Oh, hello, girls. Uh, what's up? I know you're her soulmate. Ready to see your soulmate letter? One, two... <gasps> what? Cover it up. Does the letter F stand for something that I don't know? Never mind about your letter. We'll just cover it so no one can see it. It's fine. But, Mom... Don't argue with me on this one. Here, wear this glove for the ball tonight. But if I wear this glove, how is my soulmate ever supposed to find me? He won't. But that's not fair. Why won't you just tell me what's wrong with this letter? Enough questions and complaining. I'm the queen and what I say goes. Now, if I see you take that glove off one time tonight, you will regret it. Care to dance, princess? I don't really feel like dancing. Oh, come on, princess. It's a beautiful night. All you gotta do is take my hand. Ow! My glove's on fire. Whoa, uh, hang on. I got no, it. No, no, wait. That was weird. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, is that your soulmate letter? Because I think I... No, please don't look at that. But, princess, I... Aspen, where is your glove? Aspen, you're supposed to be wearing your glove. I... It was my fault. Did you burn her glove? It was an accident. You are to never see this boy again. Gods, take her to her room. Yes, your majesty. Here, I got you a new one. What is with all the secrets? What is wrong with this letter? And why couldn't I talk to that guy? Cover that mark. I don't want to look at it. There are some secrets that are meant to be kept. You obviously don't understand that. Oh, and you're grounded for not listening to me. She's still treating me like I'm five years old. This whole thing about my letter is ridiculous. Did I do that? I think I did, but how do I make it stop? Do I have powers? I brought you food, princess. And I brought the soulmate handbook. Don't let the queen see you reading it. I won't. Thank you. F stands for fire, which is the power the male soulmate will possess. <laughs> My glove's on fire. Wait, so he has fire powers and I have ice? Aspen. You've been locked in your room for a while. I just wanted to check on you. Your hand is freezing. Really? I didn't even notice. Mm-hmm. Well, has anything strange happened to you today? No. But actually, Mom, I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna... Yes, by all means, get your rest. Keep a close eye on her, please. Yes, Your Majesty. Mom? Princess. <gasps> Shh, hey, it's okay. You know me. I'm the guy from the ball. How did you get onto my balcony? This is gonna sound crazy, but I used my fire powers to fly up here, and I think you and I are... Soulmates. I know. I read the soulmate handbook, and this F apparently stands for fire, which are your powers, but the only problem is, I think I have ice powers. Whoa, you're kidding. Well, you know what they say. Opposites, Opposites attract. attract. I say we kiss and see what happens. Wait. We should kiss and see what happens. Uh, wait. What's wrong? I don't know. All of a sudden, I just started to not feel good. I know why. Mom? Mm-hmm. How long have you been listening in? Long enough to know your powers have come in. You knew? Why didn't you ever tell me? Because your powers mean you and your soulmate can never be together. You're lying. I am telling the truth. If you kiss him, you will die. No, we're supposed to be together. <laughs> See? Fire and ice don't mix. Get rid of him. Oh, no! <laughs> Wait! Let's go, princess. Stop fighting me. There. Those gloves will not be coming off. Princess? Go away. No, please wait. I want to help you. I know how to get those special gloves off. Let me see your hands. Aspen, I escaped. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. What are you doing? Proving to you that you and I can be together. Your Highness, I'm not so sure that was a good idea. She's fine. Right, Aspen? Princess? No. Please, Aspen, don't do this to me. I think your powers were too strong for her. She still has a pulse. There has to be something I can do to save her. True love's kiss. It could awaken her. But you'd have to give up your powers. 
If it means saving her, I'll do it. If you drink this potion, your fire powers will be gone forever. Please work. Princess! Princess! I can't believe you sacrificed your powers for me. Aspen, you're more important to me than any of my powers could be. Aspen, I was wrong. I had no idea your soulmate was so selfless. Please forgive me. Okay, Mom, I forgive you, but you have to promise me no more secrets. Yes, I promise you. Hey, our soulmate letters are gone. I wonder what that means. Able to turn off your eyes or turn off your emotions? Uh, if I turned off my eyes, wouldn't I be blind? I'm gonna go with emotions. This is gonna be interesting. Let's try this out. Emotions off. Whoa, that was so weird. They posted who got the lead in the play. Can you check for me? I'm kind of nervous. Of course, let me check. Okay, I got the results. I'm sorry, but you didn't get the part. That's okay. Hey. Hey. Uh, can we talk? Yeah, what do you want to talk about? <sighs> this is hard to say, but I think we need to break up. It's all good. Wait, what? After that, it's probably best I leave my emotions off. Surprise, honey! I got you a car! What's the matter with you? Sorry, Mom. One sec. Honey? Speak a language to speak until you meet your soulmate? English or Spanish? I mean, everyone I know speaks English, so... Surprise attack! ¿Qué te pasa? <laughs> Why are you speaking Spanish? Esto es su culpa! Oh, you must have been picking what language to speak today. Mama, tenemos un problema. Honey, did you pick to speak Spanish until you kiss your soulmate? How did this happen? Well... Ella. It was an accident. I'm sorry. Aw, uh, it's okay, baby. Seriamente? Oh, stop. You'll be fine. Go to school. Don't worry, bestie. I speak Spanish. I can translate for you. Sí que. Gracias. Hey, girly, I gotta do something. I'll be right back. Just wait here. Por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Sorry, girl. I don't speak Spanish. Por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Are you speaking Spanish, girly? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Hey, I couldn't help but hear you said your head was hurting. Sí. ¿Puedes entenderme? Sí. Hablo español. I can understand you. Follow me. You said you need your medication. Where's your backpack? I... Okay. ¿Te sientes mejor? Did the medication help? Sí. Gracias. So, you can't speak English at all right now? And you won't be able to until you kiss your soulmate? You never know, maybe you and I are soulmates. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe we should try to... Well, that was nice. Sorry if I'm being awkward. No, it's okay. No way, you just spoke English. You and I must be... Soulmates. soulmates. Happy birthday! Hope you like your gift! Gummy bears? Really, guys? They're magic! Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. <laughs> Hey, check it out. Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. <sighs> that car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was going to happen? I, I don't know. I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I I just said no. Oh, come on, just let me go. Okay, sure, honey, you can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care. I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are 
for you. <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. Hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry, Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break with the news about the divorce. Uh, you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie! Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here! <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Ah! <sighs> now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. <laughs> well, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm gonna give him this to hold for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. We both like science, so maybe we should do scientists? No way. That's too risky. What if they find out about our powers? They could try to study us for research. What if they don't want both of us? Of course they're gonna adopt both of us. We're twins. They have to. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Oh look, it's the freaks. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Give that back to her. Max, don't do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey Molly, you gonna cry? <gasps> what the- uh. That just floated out of my hands. Freaks. Was that really worth it? Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Molly, Max, are you ready to meet your new father? Yes. Yeah. Here he is. Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Yes. Now, come along. My mansion awaits you two. Oh, bye, guys. Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why do the doors have locks? It's just for your safety. Max, he's lying. Just give him a chance. Randomly speak in TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandparents already do this one all the time, so... Jump scare! <laughs> Ow, Lucy, why would you do that? I don't know, and my options were better than yours. <laughs> what the... <laughs> what have you done to me? You should really be more careful what option you pick. <laughs> Sex to be you. That's it, come here. Mom! I can't make it to your party. I have to go to Liz's instead. Oh, yeah, totally. We can just plan something another time. Thanks for understanding, girly. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. What am I doing? Keep backing it up. Yeah, keep going. That's my car you're towing. Well, you're getting a big ticket for parking here. A ticket? Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. What the? Miss, are you intoxicated? Class, starting today, everyone will be able to play the game I Spy to earn money. So, who wants to play with me? I do. No, me. Why don't we give the quiet girl a shot? I spy with my little eye something green. Aw, oh, come on, that's so easy. She better get this right. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> settle down, settle down. It was the green apple. <laughs> Sweetheart, you need to talk to your mom. It's really time that she gets you some glasses, okay? Hey, mom, the teacher told me today to ask you if I can get some glasses. I told you we can't afford them. If I had glasses, I could earn us money from this game. You can earn us money from the game without the glasses. You can see just fine. I got you a little something. You bought me glasses? They're just temporary until your mom can get you your exact prescription. This is so much better. I can actually see now. 
I hope it helps you play the game, too. I spy with my little eye something yellow. That yellow daisy right there. You got it. Yes. I spy with my little eye something brown and white and covered in water. That dog. Dang, she's fast. You've been getting so much money ever since you got your glasses. I know. Amelia, where did you get glasses? My, um, my teacher got them for me. Really? Let me see them. Wasn't it so nice of her? Yes. I still can't believe that you broke my glasses. I told you they weren't your prescription. They would have ruined your eyes if you kept wearing them. They were supposed to be temporary until you bought me my own glasses. Don't you understand, Mom? I can't play I Spy if I can't see. Amelia, don't you get smart with me. And today, you'll tell everyone that you lost your glasses, and not that I broke them. Got it? Hey, shy girl, you ready? I spy with my little eye something blue. Hey, she doesn't have her glasses today. I made it so easy for her. It's right in front of her face. What is it? I don't know, okay? I can't see it. It's all blurry. Way to go, doofus. You made her lose money. Hey, it's not my fault she's blind. Amelia, can you please see me after class? Hey, so where's your glasses? I lost them. But Amelia, I just gave them to you. Okay, the truth is, my mom broke them, and now I lost all my money because they kept asking me to play the game, and I couldn't see anything. <sighs> I had a feeling something like this might have happened. Not to worry, I know how to get you seeing again. You do? Yes, I think I know a way where we can get you some contacts. You would do that for me? Of course. I, I really care for you, Amelia. But about your mother, there's something you need to know. I reported your mother to the police. She's gonna get so mad. Amelia, I'm so sorry, but she's clearly been neglecting you. Everything's gonna be fine, though. Just stay with me, I'll take care of you, and we'll go get you some contacts. Okay, the eye doctor is right down here. I'm sorry, I, I have to go back to my mom. No, please, there's more I need to explain. You have the right to remain silent. Mom. Well, if it isn't the little traitor. I swear, I, I didn't have anything to do with this. Ma'am, our records are showing that your daughter is adopted. What? Well, she didn't know that until now, officer, but yes, she is. I see. Sweetheart, please come with me. After further investigating your living conditions, we have concluded that your mother was neglecting you. I want to know who my real mother is. Are your new contacts working? Good. Then you can now play the game I Spy, right? Yeah, but I don't see how that's going to explain anything. Please, let's just play. Fine. I spy with my little eye, someone with blonde hair and blue eyes. It's... It's Mrs. Smith. Hi, honey. I... I don't understand. What... What are you doing here? I'm here because now you're going to need a new parent. And remember how we took a blood test of you earlier? The results said... No. Honey, yes. I was only 16 when I had you. When I became your teacher, I just knew that you were my daughter. I should have never given you up. Will you please accept me back? Why don't we play the game? I spy with my little eye someone who... Who loves you very much and has always wanted a mom like you. Is it you? <laughs> right, girls, on the count of three, reveal your symbols to me. One, two, three. I got a heart. I got a diamond. I got a star. What did you say, Denise? I said I got a star. <gasps> what? Mom, isn't that symbol the same one that... Cover that up. What? But why would I need to... Don't question me. Just do it. Aunt Cora, I covered it up, see? Good. Now if anyone is to ask you about your symbol, you would simply say you didn't get one. Do you understand? I feel so bad you didn't get a symbol. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Well, I found out Jake and I both have a circle. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I'm gonna go show him. Yeah, go ahead. Movie star Caleb Woods reveals his symbol. Take a look. Caleb, show us your symbol. Guys, come on. I got somewhere to be. Please. Oh, come on. All right. It's a star, okay? Is that the mail? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Give it to me. <laughs> this is it. I want to open it. No, I got it first. Girls, please at least try to act civilized. <gasps> we won. Oh my gosh, we did. Let me see that. We are pleased to inform you that your whole family has been invited to a once-in-a-lifetime movie premiere. Do you know what this means? You two are going to have a chance to hook up with a big-time movie star. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my god! I called dibs on Caleb Woods. Wait, he's gonna be there? Of course he's gonna be there! He's the star of the movie, you idiot! We have no time to waste. We have to get you two some outfits. What about me? It said everyone in the family was invited. Yes, and last time I checked, 
You were adopted. But you guys chose to adopt me. Right. Well, that was because my sister's will. It clearly stated that if anything were to happen to her, I were to adopt you. Well, you guys can't just flirt with celebrities. You have to go with the person that has your same... I told you to cover that up. I did, but I took a shower this morning and I guess the makeup was... Still... Quiet. I don't care about your excuses. Where's our dresses? They're right here. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Wait a minute, did you guys change your symbols? You changed yours to a star? That's my symbol. Yeah, so what? So what? It's against the rules. I'm gonna turn you guys in. Mom! Put that phone down, Denise. The star is my soulmate symbol. It belongs to- Caleb Woods. I know. That's why you wanted me to cover it up. Let me ask you something, Denise. Do you really think that he would want you? I mean, look at you. He's a big time movie star and you're a high school dropout. You made me drop out of school because you said I needed to focus more on the chores. Yes, but I pay you for everything that you do. But if you disobey me... Ow. Mark my words, you'll end up in the streets because trust me, no one is going to hire you. Girls, the limo's here. Hey, guess who's back from her beauty pageant contest? Maya, how did you get in here? The back door is open. I figured I'd surprise you. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine, really. So you do have a symbol! What? No, I... Girl, listen. I don't know what your crazy aunt of yours did to you while I was away, but you need to tell me everything. Maya... Come on, Denise. I want to help you. Oh, no, she didn't. You deserve to go to that premiere and meet Caleb. It's too late now anyways. Not necessarily. I have an idea. Okay, Denise, come on out. Oh my god. I love it. Are you sure it's okay that I borrow all of this? Of course. Oh, and here's your fake VIP badge that I made on Photoshop. I just really hope my aunt and cousins don't recognize me. Hi, excuse me, Caleb? You want my autograph? No, actually, I... I wanted to show you this. You got a star, too. Mr. Woods, is she bothering you? No, not at all. Here, uh, let's go somewhere more private. Glad you came up to me. I haven't talked to a girl like you in a long time. What about all your fans? Don't get me wrong, I love my fans, but they don't really know me. And my family doesn't even care to know me. Yeah, do you ever feel like your family just uses you so they can get what they want? Even if that means they hurt you in the process? Yep, like nothing I do is ever- Good enough for them? Yeah, exactly. Wait, you know, I realize I never got your name. Oh, um, my name? It's, um, Caleb, over here! Who's this? They're taking photos of us? Yeah, sorry. Guys, come on, can we get some space? I have to go. Wait! Denise, where are you? There you are! I am so upset with you, Denise! How dare you let your cousin go out with such a big stain on her dress? You were supposed to have gotten it dry cleaned! Oh, I guess it must have, um, slipped my mind. Well, you are very lucky that I am exhausted right now. We'll talk about this more in the morning. Come along, girls. We need our beauty sleep. Caleb Woods was spotted talking to a mystery girl last night. The paparazzi got these photos of her, but no one is exactly sure who she is. You wanted to talk to me? Yes, I was wondering if you wanted to explain to me why I found this under your bed. You... you came into my room? I own this house, now answer my question! Were you the one talking to Caleb? Yes, it was me. But you know what? I had every right to go see him. He is my soulmate. So if you want to kick me out for doing that, go right ahead, because I am tired of all of you guys treating me with such disrespect. She's going to be in so much trouble. Girls, you can stop spying on us. Denise is right. We need to treat her with more... respect. Here you go, Denise. Now relax and watch whatever you want. I'll be back, dear. I'm going to get you something to drink. Here you are, Denise. I got you your favorite. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Here, let me see it. Mm. See? I'm just trying to be a bit nicer to you. All right, well, thanks. Please, if you're watching this, DM me a picture of yourself and your mark. Caleb is looking for you? Yeah, I'm gonna message him. But Denise, you're a fake. What happened to being nice? 
I'm just being honest, dear. Without that wig and all that makeup, you don't look so good. Do you really want to reveal yourself? Yes, because my mom always taught me to be my... Poor Denise, you really did take after my sister. So gullible and innocent. Always outshining my daughters, though. <laughs> Perfect little face. Perfect soulmate. Well, not anymore. Mom, what did you do to her? Oh, relax. She's fine. She's just going to be asleep for a little while. Now, put this on. What? Me? Yes, you. You look the most like Denise. We'll make Caleb think you're her. Now while Chloe gets ready, I'll take a picture of your mark. Perfect. Give up my voice until I meet my soulmate or give up my sight? Those are horrible options. Pick voice. But if I don't have my voice, then how- Shh. You'll be fine. Do you really want to be blind? Well, no. Then make your choice. The time is running out. Is her voice gone? Try and talk. No way, she can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, it's not polite to laugh. <laughs> Girls, don't forget we're throwing that ball tonight. Mother, please tell me she's not invited to the ball. Yeah, she'll ruin all the fun. Don't worry, girls. She's not invited. She'll be locked in her room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being alone tonight. Hello, gorgeous. I heard you need true love's kiss to be able to speak again. So what do you say we give it a try? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't you get back to the party and leave the princess alone? Right, of course, your highness. You gotta watch out for those type of guys. It must be awful not being able to speak. Excuse me? What are you doing here? What's the matter? The princess is ill. Excuse us. How dare you? I don't ever want you getting your voice back. Mother, what if that prince was her soulmate? Well, he's going to have to die. Do we really have to kill the prince, Mother? Yes, Danette. We can't risk her getting her voice back. We'll have to make his death look like an accident. Everyone picked to lose an ability. That's right. Find out which one he picked. We'll find his weakness and use it against him. And as for you, Danette, grab her other arm. You're staying here. And I'll go talk to the prince. <laughs> Mother, I'm back, and I found out his weakness. He can't swim until he kisses his soulmate. Oh, this is perfect. We'll drown him. We'll put soap all over the floor, blame it on the maid, say he slipped and fell in the pool. Stop moving. Jeanette, you watch her while we go handle the prince. Mother, I really don't think... Watch her. I... I can't do this. I'm not going to let them kill the prince. I'm setting you free. I thought I was here to speak to your daughter. Whoops, clumsy me. <gasps> Help! <sighs> <laughs> uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry, I don't think he's gonna wake up. Uh, he's not breathing. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, do you know how to do CPR? I really hope this works. Ella, I'm sorry, I don't think he's gonna wake up. <gasps> I'm so happy you're okay. Hey, you just talked. My voice, it's... it's back. I think the CPR counted as a kiss. You. What? He's supposed to be dead. Stay away from him. <gasps> no! Mother, she must have kissed him. Well, you were right about one thing, stepmother. He was my soulmate. And now that I have my voice back, I intend to use it. Guards? You two are under arrest. What? What? Bye, mother. Bye, sister. Oh, why isn't she getting arrested? Because she decided to help me, unlike you. You know, sometimes having a change of heart can get you out of trouble. Maybe you'll learn that someday. Why, you little... Didn't realize my soulmate was going to be so badass. And now, looks like she's queen. Get a winning lottery ticket or give a winning lottery ticket. I mean, my parents, they're already millionaires, but a little extra cash never hurt. Excuse me, do you have any money? My parents abandoned me and... I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. Wait! He needs this. I pick this one. Hey, wait up! Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? What the heck? What is this? It looks like a lottery ticket. You should probably scratch it, you know, and see if you won anything. You think? Okay. No way. No freaking way! I won! 
Well, congrats. You should probably go cash that in. I just won a million dollars. <laughs> what was your name? Uh, my name's Jace. I'm Lindsay. It's really nice to meet you. Did you hear about the super attractive guy that transferred here? No. It doesn't matter. Rachel snatched him up anyways. Of course she did. She literally gets all the guys. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Jace? Huh? Are you his friend? Well, I thought he was my friend. I just met her. Hey, what's this? That's not funny. This is special to me. Let go. Relax. No, dude, let go. Oh, poor baby. Whatever, she's no fun. Who wants to go shopping at Gucci with me? Me, me. I do. What happened to you? What can I say? Money changes people. I need to talk to you. Um, sorry. Jace is busy. Back off, Rachel. This is important. Listen, the only reason that you're rich, Jace, is because of me. <laughs> I'm being serious. You saw something on the floor and told me to look. That's it. I was the one that got the ticket for you and put it for you on the floor. Girl, you need to stop lying. It's embarrassing. It says it above my head. Oh, you want to know what sucks? Only you can see that. You're in love with Jace at minute. I am not. Right. So all this is not you trying to get his attention? Girl, be for real. Yo, Jace. What's up? Looks like Lindsay was telling the truth. Check out this video. Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? So she did throw the lottery ticket on the floor for me? Yeah. Damn it. I gotta go talk to her. Jace, it looks like she needs water. Maybe give her this? Yeah, okay. Hey, I saw the viral video. I'm really sorry. So what you're saying is it took video proof for you to believe me? Nice. Wait. I want to make it up to you. I literally owe you big time. I'll buy you anything. I don't know. Don't you want to go hang with Rachel and all her friends? Not really. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna go get some water. Hang on. It's funny you say that, because I have some right here. Are you sure that this was just water? I mean, yeah, Rachel gave it to me. Rachel? What? Yeah, she just said you looked thirsty. Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? She is not. I've seen her drink lemonade. Rachel, she's obviously having a reaction. Girl, you don't have like an EpiPen or something? No, I, I didn't bring mine today. Well, that was dumb. I'm gonna go see if I can find a teacher. Rachel, hurry. It's getting really hard for me to breathe. Where the heck did Rachel go? She's supposed to be getting help. Jeez, I can barely breathe. Okay, we gotta get you help. There's a hospital down the street. Come on. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way, hurry. Jace. Lindsay? Oh, thank God you're okay. The doctor said that I'm free to walk around for a little bit. Oh, good. Do you need me to call your parents or anything? No, I've already tried. My parents are both actors, and they're on a plane right now to Spain to shoot a movie. Oh, well, whoa. Sorry. It's okay. You should probably go back and sit down. Yeah, probably. Easy now. And I want you to know I'm covering all your medical bills. You didn't have to- It's the least that I can do, Lindsay. Really. Also, I brought this for you. I remember you said it was special to you. Thanks. I also got you a few things, too. Those enough? Because I could buy more. Yeah, I think I think this is good. Thank you. Hey, you made me a millionaire. I literally owe you everything. And I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. <sighs> Officer, wait. See? She's fine. I don't need to go to juvie. Jeez, help me out. Sorry, Rachel. Really hope you learn your lesson. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, no! Get a winning lottery ticket or give a winning lottery ticket. I mean, my parents, they're already millionaires, but a little extra cash never hurt. Excuse me, do you have any money? My parents abandoned me and... I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. Wait! He needs this. I pick this one. Hey, wait up! Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? What the heck? What is this? It looks like a lottery ticket. You should probably scratch it, you know, and see if you won anything. You think? Okay. No way. No freaking way! I won! Well, congrats. You should probably go cash that in. I just won a million dollars. <laughs> what was your name? Uh, my name's Jace. I'm Lindsay. It's really nice to meet you. Did you hear about the super attractive guy that transferred here? No. It doesn't matter. Rachel snatched him up anyways. Of course she did. She literally gets all the guys. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Jace? Huh? Are you his friend? Well, I thought he was my friend. I just met her. Hey, what's this? That's not funny. This is special to me. Let go! Relax. No, dude, let go! Aw, oh, poor baby. Whatever, she's no fun. Who wants to go shopping at Gucci with me? Me, me, I do. What happened to you? What can I say? Money changes people. I need to talk to you. Um, sorry, Jace is busy. Back off, Rachel, this is important. 
Listen, the only reason that you're rich, Jace, is because of me. <laughs> I'm being serious. You saw something on the floor and told me to look. That's it. I was the one that got the ticket for you and put it for you on the floor. Girl, you need to stop lying. It's embarrassing. It says it above my head. Oh, you want to know what sucks? Only you can see that. You're in love with Jace at minute. I am not. Right, so all this is not you trying to get his attention? Girl, be for real. Yo, Jace. What's up? Looks like Lindsay was telling the truth. Check out this video. Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? So she did throw the lottery ticket on the floor for me? Yeah. Damn it, I gotta go talk to her. Jace, it looks like she needs water. Maybe give her this? Yeah, okay. Hey, I saw the viral video. I'm really sorry. So what you're saying is it took video proof for you to believe me? Nice. Wait, I want to make it up to you. I literally owe you big time. I'll buy you anything. I don't know. Don't you want to go hang with Rachel and all her friends? Not really. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to go get some water. Hang on. It's funny you say that because I have some right here. Are you sure that this was just water? I mean, yeah, Rachel gave it to me. Rachel? What? Yeah, she just said you looked thirsty. Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? She is not. I've seen her drink lemonade. Rachel, she's obviously having a reaction. Girl, you don't have like an EpiPen or something? No, I, I didn't bring mine today. Well, that was dumb. I'm gonna go see if I can find a teacher. Rachel, hurry. It's getting really hard for me to breathe. Where the heck did Rachel go? She's supposed to be getting help. Jeez, I can barely breathe. Okay, we gotta get you help. There's a hospital down the street. Come on. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way. Hurry. Jeez. Lindsay? Oh, thank God you're okay. The doctor said that I'm free to walk around for a little bit. Oh, good. Do you need me to call your parents or anything? No, I've already tried. My parents are both actors and they're on a plane right now to Spain to shoot a movie. Oh, well. Whoa. Sorry. It's okay. You should probably go back and sit down. Yeah, probably. Easy now. And I want you to know I'm covering all your medical bills. You didn't have to- It's the least that I can do, Lindsay. Really. Also, I brought this for you. I remember you said it was special to you. Thanks. I also got you a few things, too. Those enough? Because I could buy more. Yeah, I think- I think this is good. Thank you. Hey, you made me a millionaire. I literally owe you everything. And I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. <sighs> Officer, wait, see? She's fine. I don't need to go to juvie. Jeez, help me out. Sorry, Rachel. Really hope you learn your lesson. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, no. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba super base. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro. You're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet, because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head, so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill, chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm gonna buy you contacts, but first we gotta fix that unibrow. I'm gonna pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done. And it's looking good. Yikes. I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. 
Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Let go! Get in my car. Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the- Achoo! No! <laughs> At least it's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised. I know, I'm so sorry. <sighs> come on, girl, you're like the mutual friend. If you don't come, then no one else is gonna want to come. Look, my parents said no. She doesn't want to come to your party because she doesn't like you. You sure that's the reason? Yes, I wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. She's lying. Your mom just grounded her. Mom just grounded you? How did you know that? You weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now, get out. Ugh, whatever. Does this hair clip tell me the truth about people? Hey babe, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry babe, I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. Hey babe, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart, then where does he... I'm following him. What is he doing here? This place looks super sketchy. What do you think you're doing, huh? Come here. Hey, boss, look who I found snooping around here. Babe, what, what is going on? Babe, you know this girl? I've never seen her before in my life. I'm sorry, did our two years together just mean nothing to you? Two years? Have you been keeping secrets from me? I told you, you know what the rules are. He's trying to protect you by lying. He works for very dangerous men. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriends. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. He's lying to protect you. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? 
No attachments. Which means no girlfriend. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. <laughs> you see, sir, I would kill her, but, you know, I don't want to mess up this new shirt, so... Either you kill her, or him and I will do it ourselves. No, please. Look, let's just all settle down. You just... I think I'm gonna need a change of clothes. Really, babe? The Mafia? You're lucky I find that kind of attractive. Well, I know a place we can lay low. I bet. But we gotta be careful who we trust. I have something that can help with that. Please, don't be anything too bad. That's an embarrassing curse. Don't you hate singing? Stop! <laughs> don't talk to me. Loser, lame old wannabe. What the? <laughs> wow, sissy, I feel sorry for you. Uh... Hey, girly, I'm new to this school, just wanted to introduce myself, but I heard about your curse. I'm so sorry. I've got a bad feeling about you. What the actual freak was that? <laughs> <laughs> Remind me not to sit next to her at lunch. So, are you down to be official? Like, boyfriend and girlfriend? I think I like this little life. What the heck? You just ruined the moment. This was serious. I'm out of here. Baby, come back. Aw, look, it's the girl who got cursed to sing. Why you gotta be so rude? Maybe try some auto-tune. <laughs> it's the hard knock life. Hi, Chloe. I mean, oh my god. Uh, what's it? Claire. Hi, Claire. Say my name, say my name. Sorry, honey, my mind is everywhere, but you're about to get a new curse. I hope you can stop singing. Don't bring me down. Don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh-oh. Don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh-oh. Okay, your makeup's done. I told you I could do it. Oh, I forgot to brush your teeth. Chloe, come help your sister brush her teeth, please. Mom, no, I think I'd rather die. <laughs> Mom said, come on. Hurry up. Also, you're gonna get dress coded for that top. No, I'm not. Mom already talked to the teachers. This was the only top she could get on me without me moving my arms. Oh, Mom told me also someone's gonna be helping you do everything today. Whatever, can you just brush my teeth already? <laughs> okay, sissy, smile. Here comes the toothbrush. Mom said your crush is gonna be the one helping you today. What? Hey, nice to meet you. My name's Drake. I'm gonna be the one helping you take your test today. The teacher said you just tell me what answer you want me to write and I'll write it for you. Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay, and for the last multiple choice question? C? It's actually B, but hey, I won't tell anybody. Pretty sure you're gonna get an A on this. Look, it's the girl who can't move her arms. <laughs> guys, come on, grab her. What the heck? Let go of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this isn't funny, guys. Let me out. Just open the door. Oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Later, loser. Hello, anyone? Hey, Claire, are you in there? Yes, Drake, it's me. I'm in here. Okay, I'm coming in. I can't believe they locked you in the janitor's closet. I know, but that's high school mean girls for you, I guess. Yeah, don't let them get to you. Let me help you have some food, and then I can drive you home. Okay. Hey, sissy, you can move your arms now. Yeah, finally. I'm still waiting for my next curse to load. Are you gonna tell Drake that you like him? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm finally just gonna tell him that I like... That you what? Uh-oh. Oh no, your curse. It, it says you can't speak. Sorry, sissy. You're putting nuts in Drake's food, but he's allergic. I know. It's what he gets for ignoring me and paying attention to that random girl yesterday. Hey, you. I was just about to eat my lunch. Do you want some? Oh! Why would you do that? I was saving you, Ashley. Put nuts in your food, Drake. What the hell, Ashley? Is that true? Drake, you know, I would literally never do that. Really? Then why do I see peanut shavings on the side of your bag? Uh... Liar. You can't prove anything. So, looks like we both kind of saved each other this week. <laughs> that was nice. I just wish there was a way we could end these curses, you know? Me too. Hey! My, my curse, curse is it's broken. broken! See how much money my boyfriend has, or see how much he loves me? I don't need to know how much money he has, but I would like to know how much he loves me. We've only been dating for a year, so I won't expect it to be... Boyfriend is 90% in love. 90%? That's almost 100%. Oh my gosh, he left me a voicemail. Hey babe, it's me. I just wanted to say I'm excited for our date tonight. Love you. That movie was hilarious. <laughs> I know, right? Remember when... Oh my gosh, Jake? 
Heather from middle school? Yes, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Hey, Maddie. Hi. You look really different. <laughs> right? We should all hang out. Yeah. I'll message you guys on Insta. Bye. Boyfriend's feelings have changed. Want to see new results? I might regret this, but yes. 85% in love. You know what? It's okay. I'm not going to freak out. It's probably because I wasn't very talkative tonight. I'll just give him a call. Hey. Hey, I... Uh, babe, what's up? Right now really isn't the best time. Why are you out of breath? I just uh, finished a workout. Okay, well... Gotta go. Wow, oh, he hung up on me. But he never hangs up on me. Maybe I should go over to see... No, I'm not going to be that person. I'm sure everything's fine. He's just probably really busy. Did you get the answer to number five? Yeah, X equals two and Y equals one. Thanks. Listen, about yesterday, I shouldn't have hung up on you. It's fine. No, it's not fine. And I promise, I'm going to make it up to you today. Okay, babe, keep your eyes closed. Okay. And hold out your hand. Here you go. Do you know what it is? No, but it's something soft. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. It's a baby elephant. Yeah, I remember elephants are like your favorite animal. So of course I had to get it for you. Want to see boyfriend's feelings? Boyfriend lost more feelings. He's now 80% in love. Wait, what? No, there has to be a glitch or something. I don't understand. He gave me this today and he seemed all happy. How could it have gone down to 80%? <sighs> Hello? Hey girl, it's Heather. I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if we could have a girl's day. There's something you need to know about Jake. So, what do you say? Can we have a girl's day? You know what? Yeah. Come on over. Thanks for letting me come over, girl. So, what did you want to tell me about Jake? Okay, let's not be pushy. I'll get to that in a minute. Wait, could I give you a facial? Um, I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, Maddie, literally, come on. We can bond and then I can spill the tea on Jake. Okay, fine. We can do facials, I guess. Yay! I'm actually going to put some powder on your face because you're, like, really oily. So, about Jake, um, what is it exactly that you wanted to tell me? Hmm, how can I put this in a good way? I know you and I don't have, like, the best history, but I just have to warn you about Jake. I feel like he's a player. Do you really think so? Yeah, I feel like he kind of likes me and just bought you that elephant out of guilt. Wait, how did you know he gave me that? Basically, he asked me for advice on what to do about you. Huh? See, I didn't want to upset you. Let's talk about something else. Look at your hair. It really needs a little trim. No, no, it's fine. Just, can we get back to what we were talking about? No, girly, your split ends really just need a little- <gasps> Ooh, Maddie, I am so sorry. It was just a little hair. Get out. Check boyfriend's feelings. Your boyfriend is falling out of love with you. He's cheating on me with her. I just know it. Love meter suggests you break up with him. Hey, Maddie, it's me. Maddie, it's me again. I... Stop calling her. She's not going to answer. Heather, please, can you just call me back? You know what? I don't need him. And I'm going to show him that tomorrow. Maddie, there you are. Look, about Heather, I... Save it. A one-year relationship, and you threw that all away for some blondie who used to bully me in middle school. She came on to me, okay? And I just didn't know how to tell her. You disgust me. Check BF's feelings. Boyfriend gained some feelings for you. Figures. Remove Jake as boyfriend. You will no longer see his feelings. Excuse me? I was wondering if you'd like to come to prom with me? Sure. Really? Because I'm new here, and, well, I guess I'll pick you up a date? Okay. Okay, see you Saturday. Hey, girly, I heard you have a new boyfriend, so I hope there's no hard feelings. No, of course not. Oh, good, because Jake and I are just, like, so happy together. I can't even focus because your puppy's so cute. Can I hold her? Yeah, sure. You know what to do. I've <laughs> always wanted one like her. Here you go. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Oh! What the? Oh! I think now you can consider us even. Oh. Come on, girl. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it. I'm... Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No. Oh my gosh, no. Don't touch... It's okay. It's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say... I told you not to touch her. You were in so much trouble. I'm sorry, mom. She was... I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. 
I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You are in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You are in so much trouble! I'm sorry, mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You are in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You are in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, oh, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You are in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You are in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You are in so much trouble! I'm sorry, mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You are in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. 
Don't say I told you not to touch her. You were in so much trouble. I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her. Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- it's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us Mom and Dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No, oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us Mom and Dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No, oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No, oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No, oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us Mom and Dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us Mom and Dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No, oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us Mom and Dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No, oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. 
I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here! Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, oh, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <coughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Like you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm- Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch- <coughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hush, little baby. Don't say- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was- I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her- Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. Join a dating program or go to prison? I guess I'm joining a dating program. Finding you boyfriend based on your internet search yeah, history. Yeah, that's not creepy. Ready for your date. You know what? Why not? I hope you don't mind paying for the bill. Yeah, sir, you can give that to her. I forgot my wallet. Ooh, excuse me. You can actually just take this and keep the change. Goodbye. Wait, what? Finding another match. Thank you. Sup, girl? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I'm sorry, no. Just, just no. Finding new boyfriend. Just let it be someone decent. Hey, I'm Damien. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> you seem cold. Here, take my jacket. Thank you so much for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good. You were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. <laughs> I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she's... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. You pick Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Hello, Danielle. I hope you slept well. These are for you. I want you to know you're safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you. I've been watching you. You're a stalker, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. More like I'm your biggest fan. You see, I've been following you on social media for quite some time now. And when all of us were forced to join this dating app, I made it my goal to become your perfect match. And thanks to this dating system, I'm now your boyfriend. Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. I need to switch my boyfriend. You have already picked a boyfriend, you may not change it. No, please, it is an emergency. Question, is your life currently at risk? Yes! That's all my money in my bank account. Five seconds to decide. Okay, deal. Contacting authorities now. Cheers to us, Danielle. I'm so glad you decided to wear the dress. Where are they? Where's who? You sure you're all right, miss? Danielle! Sir, stop resisting. I love you, Danielle. I'm gonna find you again. I promise. Are you ready to meet your new boyfriend?